Hi, welcome to the show. Welcome to... Oh, I didn't write the episode on no, this. No, take Shoot. it again. We're take fucked. It. I'm fucked. Take two. Welcome to Talking Reckless 328. It's still so with eight. Two, three, three twenty something? Three? Yeah, I think it's twenty something. I but think it's three two three. Let's uh, go with three two three. Okay. Sure. Uh, if I'm wrong after the fact, fuck me. My name is Matt Eads. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, we're back in studio. I'm joined by Andy Captain. Hey yo. And Brandon Lynch. Yo, do you think you should just not say any episode numbers unless it's significant? Like, does anyone give a fuck? Mm, I I give a fuck. It's okay. a nice transition into it. Yeah, yeah. I, I give a fuck. Good and, little segue. And it gives it gives like a handle to like remember that time an episode whatever you guys said this. We never. Remember. Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't think <laughs> we didn't remember this podcast episode. There's no way we're calling back to knowledge from <laughs> previous specific episode numbers. That's how we go look it up though. Be like, oh, three two three. Okay, all right. I, gotcha. I see. I see what you're saying. I'll remember that them. time you said to go get a whole bunch of best ofs for some like anniversary show we were doing i couldn't think of a single fucking one <laughs> it's all best that's why yeah it's the podcast could, effect right when the second you walk out of this room like when i'm typing up the deck for the podcast i'm like oh dude we're talking about video games what yeah. the fuck yeah everything just leaves leaves your mind uh welcome welcome back we're back in the studio here for uh, for at least a week of talking reckless uh still new mics so we're dialing in haven't haven't had a ton of hours on the new mic so we're still figuring some stuff out uh, I can see one that looks like it's about to fall, plummet to the table, maybe halfway throughout the show. That'd mm-hmm. be exciting. That one. We'll see what happens. I bet that one. You think you think that one? Yep. I th- that one. So I know some of them have, some of them are screwed up properly and can't fall. Some of them are kind of just sitting up there <laughs> and might. Defying gravity. <laughs> it's a very high budget production. All right. We only the quality, quality mics, quality sound, quality everything. Quality hosts. Yes. Mm-hmm. Quality. Quality us. You say quality hosts? Yeah. Yes, quality hosts. I yeah. think quality house, which I also agree with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh. Nice and cool down here. Kevin sells quality hose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, you 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 need some quality hose. You talk to him. Mm-hmm. No matter. You know what I'm saying. You yeah. tell a damn good garden with that guy's hose. Kevin's a pimp. <laughs> oh, they're women. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not just 2020, Andy. Not just women. All right. Sex workers of all That's right. denominations. All right. I don't know how far we can keep going with this human. It's like human trafficking <laughs> yeah. is going to be the next big issue, and we're going yeah, to. That's what I'm coming. Mean, it is a huge issue, obviously, but we're right. going to look back on this in like six months and be like, "Oh my oh, god, what have we, what have we done?" The, Jesus Christ! Yeah, we better just can't keep sell a hoe. Yeah. yeah, the bit stops here. That's right. Lock this one up. I tried to help you guys out with the garden hose thing, but you decided to keep going with it. No, no. <laughs> I gave you the out. Yeah, we got to the point where we're like, "Eads, we got to get the laugh and then get out of here." Yeah. <laughs> we haven't gone yeah. far enough for either yet. We just haven't done this in so long. I forget how like joke timings work. I forget. Mm. I forget how laughing. Yeah, when we're doing the internet laughing. show, you have to anticipate the joke. That's right. Respond to it halfway through. Start laughing ahead of so time so that it catches <laughs> the right timing. Yeah, it's gonna be funny. It's, gotta laugh. it it's been a while. <laughs> I handle that problem by just not laughing at anybody's jokes. That's, that's a good way to deal with it. That's true. Oh, it's so uh, good yeah. To be that's back. that's why I don't laugh at your guys's either. I feel giddy, gentlemen. I feel downright giddy. It's so good to be back in the studio. I love it. Yeah. Oh, out of the house. Even this one sounds like fucking beanbag. At least we, at least we're, we're face to face. We're talking. We're having a conversation. Did you say now. sounds like beanbag? Yeah, it sounds like beanbag. That's Is that bad. A thing? That's bad. Yeah, sounds like sounds like the image of a scrotum. Oh, you know, like it's not, yeah. It's not. It's not very good. It's not pleasant. Not pleasant. Mm-hmm. It's like a kick to the beanbag. That's the best bad news. The podcast sounds beanbag. It's like fire. You know, it's the inverse of fire. Okay. I'm starting in here. Uh, eventually, we can abbreviate to BB. Right? Mm-hmm. Hash, hash, that's, that's BB. That's, that's BB. Yeah. I got a whole plan. Where's my BB? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. He was right. <laughs> he was the only one who knew that we'd all be. And Conan obviously knew as well. We'd mm. all be isolated. Is this Tron? Mm, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. man. I don't even know what the we so we sort of we we kind of we haven't been doing Tron just from the right. uh, online. There's not a lot of good a stuff to cut off online. You no. know, it might yeah. be Tron. We're streaming okay. live. I don't know. Well, I feel like maybe ease back into it. Yeah, you know, I feel like I wouldn't have too much for a Tron because besides playing video games, I haven't been and watching TV. I haven't really done anything else. So yeah. we might as well just make that the podcast. Did I ever tell my mushroom story on Tron? I don't. Uh, I'd have to listen back. But I, I mean, I, I remember we had a an extensive conversation about Brando's mushroom story, so I'm sure yours came up at some point. Yeah, it probably did. I did mushrooms at some point in the last, like... I feel like... It was quite a few months ago now. We must have talked about it at some point. I feel like we've talked about that on 
some podcast. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah. It's out there. When you're like literally 100% of my time is in front of a mic almost now. Right. It's hard to know. Just that don't know is. where the content's going. Yeah. And even my free time is like on a mic, but with the fellers mm-hmm. over the internet, which is still... Yeah, <laughs> playing more video games. Yeah. It's, uh, fuck, it's good to be back. And it's great to have you back with us. Hope you're doing well uh, at home as, as well as you can be. Relatively well. Hope you're doing relatively well. Um... It's been a big, big few weeks for video games. We got mm-hmm. the PS5 released last week. We got Last of Us out this week. Uh, Ghosts of Tsushima is on the horizon. Paper Mario. Paper Mario. A fan of that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Cyberpunk. Push back to November. Mm-hmm. Talk about that in the news a little bit. What would y'all do this week? You all you'll get in video games? I, oh, uh, I was actually mainly out at the farm for this weekend. So yeah, not I went out um like farming simulator. Yeah. yeah. It's a video game podcast. Yeah, Stardew Valley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stardew Valley, Came Harvest Moon. Uh played Harvest Moon on the GameCube. No, that's what I was up to this weekend. So went out and saw the family and it was great because uh in a typical farm family fashion, I get out there and I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna leave the next day at like noon or something like that because I'm gonna be hanging out with Brando later, so I gotta make sure I'm on time to to do that. All of a sudden, my dad wants to like plant grain in a field, and we're like fixing equipment. Oh, tell doing all me about it. Crap. I'm like, and just I can't geld these sheep, Dad. I have to go I got video watch games Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, I gotta go watch Dragon Ball Z and play Stardew Valley, a fake farming game. I don't have time for this real that, bullshit. That calf will birth itself. <laughs> yeah, what the hell's going on? So that's what I was up just to. Just give it a bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. So that's what I was up to this past weekend. And uh, yeah, and just um, watching Dragon Ball when I wasn't doing that. Did you do farming? Were you like out there? What? What? How does planting grain? You have a, you have a seed drill. Yeah. And is that a thing you hold? Or is that a thing no, you no, drive? no, no, no. You put it up to a tractor. No, okay. We, do, we yeah. don't we don't hold things in this day and age when you go to plant a field. That's disappointing. Good lord, mm. we'll be out there forever. Hold on, um, dick. So yeah, while you do it like a man. Do what? Just fucking grab your balls while you're farming. Oh yeah, yeah. as I'm spreading the seed. Like bean day. Um, spreading Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, if you're really curious about the whole operations of farming, you can, there's a great game called Farm Simulator. You can pick up; it'll uh, teach you all this stuff. So, as yeah. a farmer who has also played farming simulator games, how what is the most accurate farming simulator? Oh, I haven't played farm simulator games. Well, here I'm we not, are. I'm not going to play that nonsense. You played Stardew Valley. Yeah, you played I mean, Harvest Moon, the, right? But that's not farming simulator. I feel like those games are more about like relationships and a relaxing time. Or yeah, farm- a farmer's relationship with the earth, you know, be pulling you life farm. out of the earth. I That's was right. farming. This is like the only thing I got to do in Stardew Valley. Right, but it's not really farming. Like farming simulator is like, all right, let's fucking hook the tractor up and like actually go out into the field and like you know, bale ten acres of hay and get some cattle and. What is the most uh, like cowboy they've ever ridden? Do you know how to ride a horse? You ridden yep. a horse? You ever like ridden a horse for the purposes of ranching? Have you ever corralled no, cattle no, 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 or anything? No. My dad could do it, but by the time I was getting of age where I would have been able to learn to do that, we actually got rid of the horses. So mm. uh, I just did it for uh, riding pleasure. I think I went over a jump once, <gasps> and it a hurt and b scared me, and I never did it again. So no, that, that seems scary. Right. There's yeah. not, nothing graceful about those fucking like the horse looks great, but the rider just looks like they're like. Oh! God. <laughs> well, and the thing that scared Crunch. the thing that scared me the most too was uh, thinking: Is the horse going to do it? Like that was my biggest thing. I was like, you know, you're coming up to it. You're talking like you, Metal Gear Five, make the horse, but do it. Make yeah. the horse poop on the ground. Yeah, exactly. Do it's you in know. the ears while it's, it's coming. Up. Do it. Do except, it. Except do jumping. It. So, it, and you have, it's like it's kind of like hitting a jump on a snowboard or something, right? Like you have to have that speed, but you get scared and you don't want to get that speed. Mm-hmm. But it's like you got to commit to it, right? And so speed hurts. Yeah, and I'm like, is the horse actually going to do it, or is she just going to like stop? And I'm going to go flying over the front like in a cartoon, and yeah. That'd be so, terrifying. Yes. It would be. It would hurt a lot, too. So I'm not the most experienced rider, but I've done it. I'm also not the most experienced farmer because I was never interested in it. And this weekend was a great reminder of why I'm not doing it as a career. Experienced <laughs> enough, city though. Boy when, it all goes, when it all goes tits up and we've only got horses to get from A to B and we got to farm our own grain, it can be a, an seed. even hotter commodity. Andrew. Yeah. No, no kidding. I'm going to have to figure it out. Don't worry. You guys get all that experience, though. So you come close to me. We'll survive yeah, whatever okay. comes our way. I could look after the horse. I think. I think I could be that person who, like, you know, we gotta hold the hoof and you're you gotta, gonna have to you go gotta clean it out, and clean the hoof out. I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they're scraping them. Before you even get to that stage, you guys are gonna have to go to an opposing ranch and steal the horse. So yeah, that's shit. gonna be that's more a important of a job too. than worrying about how to take care of the damn thing. Let's just get it first. I just want to go into bars with swinging doors and shoot <laughs> empty beer glasses off of pianos. Mm-hmm. 
I'd be badass too. Yeah. Wild West would be. Boy, have I got the roleplay <laughs> mod for you. Well, I was gonna say you're also a hot commodity because you're getting that experience. So you yeah, know. if you need me to like sell you some fucking snake oil or guitars or shit, then, well, yeah, you, totally. You're gonna be the guy going into town, so we'll yeah. be out there working the land. I need my out there. twisty mustache and my little straw hat. You'll be mm-hmm. the one that goes in and runs business and gets us supplies and cars for people and. Steals horses. I'm ready. Buy, buys beer for five bucks and then sells it for a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> now flip that. Well, mm-hmm. I hope so. <laughs> uh, no time for video games, eh? Um, no, like I've been, I played a bit today, but it was just some multiplayer stuff with Warren, so I didn't dive into anything new yet. I'm still, I, I know I've said it every single week, but there's so much of it to go still. I'm almost there. But any of my, like, Single player uh, video game time is being invested into Dragon Ball Z. So, I'm, but I'm almost at the end. As soon as I'm done that, let then... me know when you are on the last episode because I have just the last episode. I think we should watch the last episode at the same time. Okay, let's let's do it. Same or, thing. or about I'll the same time. Yeah. yeah, I'm saving um, it. Uh, so yeah, that'll be good. And then after once that's done, then I got to wrap up Ori and then I'll move on to something new. Hell yes. So Hell yeah. I'm God, still Dragon Ball so good. It's a good schedule. Yeah, we're gonna get in here sometime soon. The plan, anyways. Sometime soon for Dragon Ball. No, for Super Saiyan Pod Super. Are we just super. continuous? Are we continuing the numbering? Oh, what if we? I thought this might be the super version. Uh, well, so they, I've actually just talked myself out of it. Where okay. this could be? I thought this could be the super part of Super Saiyan Pod Super. Right? We're, we're going to cover Super. It could be Super Saiyan Pod right. Super Super. Right. Which is very dumb. Right. Uh, but we we didn't we didn't we do Super, super Saiyan, Saiyan Pod Super Z. Yeah, exactly. Right. Kai, yeah. Or, yeah. You're yeah. Kai. Yeah. But, I mean, we could still put another super on the end. It's really stupid yeah. in a way that I'm kind of way into. And we could actually put a super on the beginning, too, to imply the quality of the podcast. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. it's extra good. Yeah. No. And then we can, years from now, when we remix it, hyper remix. Right. Super, super sane podcast. <laughs> super sane pod, super sane, super. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like it. I like uh, it. Brando, how's your week been? What uh, what you been up to? Good. I, I can give you guys a story. I'll give, give you CR guys name. a work-related story that I think you guys will love. Spin us one. Um, I So it, it kind of starts on a downer. Uh, <laughs> I uh, was at a, uh, for in the line of my work duties, was keeping an eye on a house with an alleged pedophile okay. that had been released back into the community <sighs> Uh, while he awaits trial, what is it's very like, uncommon? What is keeping an eye on? Do you have to like wait outside the house? Yeah, we were basically looking for like community reaction to him being there because normally when these guys get released, then some people in the community get really upset, so go to the house, start screaming, banging on the doors, yeah. that kind of thing. So we're basically there to catch whatever craziness happened. We were there Thursday, and some craziness happened, but it's not as crazy as how it gets. So I'm going to skip that part of the story. And then I was back there yesterday, okay. Saturday. What are So set the scene. Are you guys like unmarked vehicle? I'm like unmarked. Top, top of the street. I just... get a lot of these kinds of shoots because I'm unmarked. Uh, when they sent us to the Hells Angels funeral, uh, I, <laughs> they sent me because I was unmarked, and Ooh. they don't. <laughs> and, and anyway, Hells Angels <laughs> have a part to play in this story. So um, just setting it all up, setting up the pins. Uh, so Saturday, uh, the official organized protest from the neighborhood uh, outside the guy's house. Okay. Uh, he lives with his, his mother. He lives with his mother. Uh, had the whole time. Um, so everyone's out there uh, with their signs, and it's this really weird mix of, like, uh, like Pleasantville, uh, white suburban family, uh, a lot of parents trying to, like, teach their kids a good lesson about... Uh, peaceful protest and pedophilia. The kids got the little signs like "My Life Matters" and mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And then also, as part of the protest, a lot of Hell's Angels and like motorbike club mm-hmm. members and stuff who are notorious for really wanting to beat the shit out of pedophiles. Yep, uh, something we can all get behind. Um, sure, but the Hell's Angels also not great people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they they're a little fast and loose with the law. Exactly. Sometimes, yeah, we'll maybe say. Um, so anyway, we're out there. Uh, the kids are trying to have fun. Uh, like it's just like some big outdoor event for them, right? They don't fully grasp the the concept of what's going on, but they're like, "Yeah, my life matters" and everything. And then like one of the Hell's Angels people will just like walk up and be like, "Hey, why don't you get out here so I can give you a taste of your own medicine? You fucking suck!" And the kids are like, "Oh, oh no!" <laughs> and the moms are like, "Oh, you can cover your ears, cover your ears." Um, so eventually, going into like hour two of this this protest, uh, someone inside, either the mother or the alleged pedophile, mm-hmm. um, 
ordered a pizza for me to seven. Oh no! Why? Yeah, Why? I know, what you, right? I guess how are you going to go get food? I guess so. But... Right. Uh, you yeah, got to think that come you in the back. Really jump, jump the fence and come in the back. <laughs> so the pizza guy shows up. Fuck. Uh, God bless his heart. Uh, has no idea what's going on. He's like, oh shit, there's like a hundred people out in front of this house. I just got to make my delivery. Many of them Hell's Angels. Yeah, yeah. And there's like posters on like the trees in this guy's yard that says, this man is a pedophile. Uh, so. The pizza guy, I don't know what was said to him but the, by the protesters, but the pizza guy was obviously like, look, I don't want anything to do with this. I'm going to take my yep. pizza. I'm going back to Pizza 73. Forget I was ever here. Uh, and one of the protesters pays him for the food uh, and gives him a tip and everything. Mm -hmm. Takes the food, which I'm pretty sure is against policy. Throw it on the roof. Uh, no, that would oh. be great. But goes on, the, goes on the front lawn and is just eating it like on the front lawn being like, Oh, I'm eating your pizza. Why don't you come out and get Jesus your pizza? Christ. So I'm laughing because I'm like, okay, these people are. It's like, a ridiculous situation. It is. It's it is. so absurd. And it's like, it's like this community driven event by, by the families that has just turned into this like fucking madness with people taking this man's pizza and, and screaming at him to beat the fuck out of him. Um, and then I'm like, okay, well, surely nothing crazier than this can happen. Uh, and then like. Another half hour later, two of the Hell's Angels guys drive away on their motorbikes, and I'm like, oh, maybe this is, we're starting to clear out. Uh, if the Hell's Angels guys leaves, I bet you the community will kind of leave mm -hmm. and everything will kind of fizzle out. Uh, and they come back with a pickup truck, and in the back of the pickup truck, they have a legitimate, expensive-looking coffin. And they take the coffin, and they put it on the guy's front lawn, open the coffin, and are like, you made your bed, now come sleep in it. And I'm like, this is what I'm like. I think I need to get the fuck out of here. This yeah, is getting the fucking fuck? crazy. This is hardcore. I mean, it's still, you know, pe peaceful protest thing, I suppose. It's true. And cops are there. Creatively. Like, cops are on the on the perimeter uh, letting this all happen, even though this is now getting awful close to death threats. Um, and just seeing, like, the like seven-year-old kids being like, oh, they got a coffin. They're going to put them in the coffin. I was just like, this is the most fucked up thing I've yeah, ever that's seen. That's really fucked. It's like... It sounds like the same energy you'd see at a wrestling show from yes. these kids, where you're like, "Uh, this uh, mm. right." We need we need a separation between wrestling, the the fictional, yes. and the this real is here. Too real. Yes. Like if this guy came out that door, there's not a doubt in my mind that one of the Hell's Angels would have beat the shit out of him and put him in the coffin. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyway. no violence, thankfully. Yes, I'm sure well, we would have heard about it. Yeah, I left. So. Someone else took my place, and it's a I, wild uh, I story. That poor fuck. pizza guy. What do you the even? If you're guy. the pizza guy rolling up, like, what do you even do? Like, no. oh, what the fuck, fuck. is this? Well, he's, I like he, to think that he like screwed his hat down tight, yeah. took his little like pizza delivery guy's coat out of his thing, right, like, his oath. Yeah, melt, yeah. <laughs> melted over and held it against his heart. Like, yeah. we have to do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sixty minutes or it's free. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I've, only got, I've only got three minutes left to get this to the door. Puts I can't on, be a like, coward. Puts on like a backpack with a helicopter propeller on it. He's like, we're going in. The blue. He's got UN blue security vest. And things, you know, yeah. just UN member. Oh. That'd be good. Wild. Anyway, pizza guy got. I mean, I think he's gonna be a hero at Pizza Seventy Three. He goes back and he's like, hey, "I got us paid. It was a pedophile, <laughs> but I got that pizza sold." I. So. Crazy times. Uh, and then I played video games. Far blessed, less interesting. Blessed are the delivery folks in these crazy times. I've I've had more than a few rough days saved by a key order mm -hmm. of onion rings at at two a.m. Sometimes right. you know. Sam, That's when they Sam taste Bridges. the best. Sam, that's right. Fuck, he was right. Fuck! He was I right. hate that. Kojima, I, oh. Kojima knew it was yeah. coming. Gross. What uh, what video games you got for us? Uh, let's start with Alan Wake, because I'm done it. Woo! Um, it's not a lake. It's an ocean. ocean. That's right. Uh, that game, I'm happy that I have refresh knowledge uh, of the plot of that game. I did not play the <laughs> DLC because they wanted me to pay for it. Yeah, it sucks also. It's <laughs> mostly combat and barely story. Uh, and uh, I was very happy to be done it. I kind of got into like, so I was playing it one chapter at a time because I'm like, I just, I don't enjoy playing this game. Hmm. So I'm going to just play a chapter, finish it, and then play something I really enjoy. And yeah. then the next day when I start gaming, I'll play through another chapter. They're not very long. And then I think I hit like three and I was like, I'm just going to fucking bang these all out so I never have to play this game again. <laughs> it's uh, it's an old game. It's an old game. It's an old game. Yeah. And it was like, it wasn't a great game. No. Even, even when it even came out. it was brand new. It right. was like, okay, there's something here. You can suffer this shooting. Yes. So anyway, I uh, got my knowledge refreshed on the old gods of Asgard, oh, which I so think dope. is some of the most important. Part. I think that Lady of Light song, whatever it's called yep. in, the, in the game, is so dope. When you're on the, is that what's playing when you're on the stage? 
Yes, and it's also yeah. the song that like literally step by step tells Alan how to like okay find her, you find right. the lady, get yeah. bring her the thing, play the music. I can't remember if that's the same one that's on the stage. Uh, I think I don't. I, I really like the is. one when you're fighting on the stage. Yes, that one's also very. Good. That whole scene is very. Yeah, good. you're like setting off pyro. <laughs> Barry's all fucking wrapped up in Christmas lights, and they just give you like a hilariously large amount of like flares and ammo and everything in a way that none of the rest of the game does. Where they're just like, there's just crates of it. Yeah, there's fucking like do rapid fire throw flares all over the field. Rock music and horde of zombies. Let's go. Yep, watch the fireworks at them. Uh, also played. I started a new game plus on the highest difficulty for Spider Man. Well, yes, my goodness, the highest difficulty. Yes, which is fucking hard. Yeah. Um, I want to get through that game again before Miles Morales, but I don't know that that's going to happen on that difficulty. <laughs> oh, it's just too too hard, you think? I also have a trophy. I have two trophies that I need in that entire game. One of them is be, uh, Beat New Game Plus, and one mm. of them is Beat Any Game on the Hardest Difficulty. Hmm. I'm like, oh, I really want to do that. Just get them both done at once. Yeah. But it, part of it is like, I know how much harder the end of this game is than the beginning, mm-hmm. and the beginning of this game is now fucking very hard. You're going to have to get, it's going to be Dark Souls all over again. It's going to have to, it's you that's going to get better. Yeah. I fucking love that video game, though. Spider-Man? Fuck, yeah. Just <laughs> flying around the city. That's another one you got to play, Andy, when you get your hands on a oh, PlayStation. Yeah. I forgot that was a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. The music is still so good. Hey. The so way good. the music like swells it's just, whenever you're swinging, and, and it's just like just off brand of the movies, just enough that yep. while you're playing, you're like, "This is the music from the movies. Yep. It has to be." <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the game that we're all here to talk about. Let's do it as best we can without spoiling yes. anything. Yes, spoiler free. And I'd like to be very spoiler free. Yes, because I've listened to other podcasts yes. that are spoiler free that have still told me things, and I'm like, kind of wish I didn't know yes, that. Yes, I agree. Uh, Last of Us 2. Yes. How far in are you? Uh, About nine hours or so. Right ahead of you. Like two hours ahead of me. Yes. Also, I'm playing on hard, though, and have been dying to... The combat got real hard on me real fast in a way that I am turning it back down. Yeah. I'm playing on normal and have not been having very much trouble with it. I was totally fine up to a point, which you're coming to. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Uh, Yes. It's still the... the, Man, what can we even really say about it? Specifically about the difficulty, uh, you can customize everything, which is super cool. Mm. And there's like seven or eight different things where it's like enemy health or I, th- I think enemies are good together. It's like enemy difficulty. Yeah. Uh, your allies difficulty. How effective are your, your allies in combat? Uh, like resource difficulty. How scarce are resources? Mm-hmm. Output. How many how many things are you making from those resources? Like you can really customize it which is super cool. So then when you like change it to like hard does it like move all those sliders around and then yeah, you can it puts everything there, to hard and, and then, then you can move it from there. Totally. So I'm That's at the point really where neat. I'm like, these enemies are a little too tough, but I still really like having to look for bullets and like, I like feeling like I don't have enough resources. So right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that high. I'm going to turn enemies down. Mm. And it's very cool. That's yeah. That's cutting edge stuff. Yeah. Um, for as cool as that sounds, that doesn't sound like anything I would ever bother playing with. Mm. As That's someone like, who, especially recently, has been so annoyed by games being ultra precious with their difficulty of like, like Fire Emblem is a great example of like, you play it and you can never change it. You better pick right out of the gate. You better have the foresight to know how you want to play this game because if you're wrong, fuck you, start over. Uh, being able to just change it however you want, whenever you want is, oh, oh, so good. Turn, I love it. Turn it down for an encounter, then turn yeah, it back totally. up. Totally. Yeah. And that's fine. Why, yeah. why can I not do that? Why do, why do games want to stop you from doing that? I feel like that would ruin it for me in a way. In you a think weird so? way. I don't no know why. why. It, just, it feels like I'm playing God then. I'm like, yeah. this game needs to be designed to challenge me. And if it gets too hard, I shouldn't have the option to turn it down because then I'd be a coward. Like, it's, you know, I, should, I should try to beat it, it's get fair. better. Because what am I going to do when I hit fair the next enough. wall and I didn't spend the time turn getting better? Turn it back better. down. You just popped it. Yeah. <laughs> Why the Every time you hit a wall, like I could bash my head against this for fifty deaths. I mean, or, that's the thing, though. You can say the same thing about Fire Emblem. Like, why didn't you play on the hardest then? Yeah. Why didn't you just step it up to the top difficulty? Because it wasn't fun. It was Bingo. Touche. <laughs> I don't. I can't see the future. I can't see the future. And I find easy games. If I'm not challenged by, there are some games like Alan Wake where. I it's am not challenged, never, but never play fun. Alan Wake on anything other than easy. Yes, but uh, <laughs> I'd like a good challenge, you know? I like, especially in, in the fiction of The Last of Us, I like feeling like I am barely fucking getting by. I like feeling like that world is just out to fuck you. And there is totally definitely, is. like, a, a, like how much you're enjoying the nuance of the combat and everything that makes totally. you like, oh, I want to push this against the limits, like, in a way where, like, I remember games like Batman and and stuff where I, like, Really started to get the combat yeah. in a way that wasn't like God of War. God of it's War, really yeah. Good one. Where it's like, oh, this game is this combat is made better by me pushing it 
to the absolute highest difficulty. And then there are games which probably have, to some people, very good combat, like Final Fantasy, where I'm like, I just don't care to learn the deeper levels of this combat enough to want to play it on hard. Yes, very much. Exa- exactly the same yeah. way. Where Every now and again, there is a like type of combat that I just... The combat itself is the challenge, like Sekiro, where like I just I I, I can I can master this. I have the tools. God damn it! I'm gonna sit here for 200 deaths. Uh, but then you don't have to go any far. Something like Jedi Fallen Order, which is just loose enough. They're like, uh, this this one doesn't make the cut for me. I'm not gonna bang my head against this. Mm-hmm. Swip it on down to easy. Well, let's fucking do this last boss fight. Because fuck that last boss fight in Jedi Fallen Order was I something on, else. I played the whole game on normal and and never moved it on not, Jedi not Fallen Order. Not the last boss Order. fight, but that like that big what's whatever the main antagonist's name is, whatever her right. name is. That when when you fight her, right? Uh, she's mean. I think she's that so is the last mean. boss fight. Yeah, and there's, then there's, there's a sequence like after, a sequence which after which yeah. you might consider the last boss. Sure, moment of the year. Uh, <laughs> um, was that last year? Se- Sekiro also oh. didn't have even have difficulty no like sometimes the game just yeah. won't give you it, it does it does they're just yeah. built-in game like if you ring the bell that's hard right every all the enemies get tougher and have more health mm-hmm. it's items and things you use in game for i know it, it defaults to easy this is different than you your experience with it but doom eternal is something that i could see myself going back and bumping up the difficulty having beating it beating yeah. it because i felt like when i beat that by the time i beat that game i was like i fucking get this like i totally get the loop the combat loop the the ammo, the the fire gun, the ice grenade, like everything. I finally got to the point where that's all feeding into itself in a satisfying way. And now I feel like this game is maybe actually a little bit easy uh, in a way that I could. The next time I play Doom, I might go all the way up to the highest difficulty. Yeah. But back to Last of Us. Yeah, to bring, to bring it back to Last of Us, mm-hmm. I don't get that from Last of Us at all. The combat is not a thing I want to like rally and rail against. It's not, it's not like Halo where it's an interesting puzzle for me to try to crack. Mm-hmm. It's this thing where like... When the shit goes down, uh, again, what can I really say? So mechanically, there are a few things different. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it is more or less the exact same game as the last. But last very one. few things. It very feels very like, few things. Yeah. There's a dodge. The big thing is like there's yeah. the melee combat is a little bit different now. Right. Where you have a dodge button. And I think you actually had a dodge button, but it was mapped as a like quick time prompt. And I only know that because I just played the original last. Like it would, it would throw like, like X pu- up on screen. Yeah, or you'd be you'd pushing like, square to hit, and then the guy would try and hit back, and the triangle would pop up, and you'd yeah, have oh, to try. Totally right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now it is just a free button. You can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't had great luck with it. Where like sometimes I dodge, and the character d- dodges, but like in a way that they don't dodge the attack. They just kind of like do the move. Yeah. But you the- don't get like the cinematic like step back where the enemy like yeah. goes flailing. It's more just like oh I did this too early. He's gonna hit me anyway. Your character like physically gets low, and if that punch still hits you, it still hits you or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, boy, what else can I even say? What else can I say? Uh, story wise, I it it see it. Banger of a start. It is hard to even talk about those first hours in a way that, like, uh, yeah, damn. What can I? I'll say. <laughs> what can I'll I say, say. I'll say the like the kind of the shoe drops about two hours in. Yeah. Like there's a, there's a moment, and <laughs> if it's happened, you know what we're talking about, and if you haven't hit it, you will know when you do. Yes. Where it's like, okay, this is the uh, they've 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 told us the direction we're going with this game. This is what the game is about. Um, and it was like, put my controller down, spend some spend some time thinking about mm-hmm. my life mm-hmm. when it happened. It was like intense in a yeah. way where I'm like, oh, this I don't know if this whole game is 30 hours of this. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Yeah, it's, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I had that exact same moment where the shoe dropped. Uh, I was streaming, so the shoe dropped, and mm-hmm. like you can go watch the vod, very very silent. Mm-hmm. I do not talk a lot during that stream at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it was a few hours later in game where there's like there's kind of uh, you know like nice kind of like quiet downtime moments in the game where yeah. the characters are all reflecting. And it was in one of those moments where uh, again I can't get too into it, but there's a very specific kind of action that that takes place that that kind of took me back to when that shoe dropped. And for me, it was right there where like I had to pause the game. Yeah. I just had to sit there and like just think about life for a little bit. Yeah. And like I couldn't, I didn't play anymore that night. It was it was really early. Too. It was like nine thirty, which is super out of character for me. I was like, I just can't. It's a very fatiguing oh my story. God. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, yeah, it hits really really hard. Uh, in in like a in a very positive way. It's 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 weird to talk about feeling these negative things, mm-hmm. uh, especially in the world we live in. Uh, but it's cathartic in a way. It's like watching yeah. a like murder show on Netflix. Like a you know, it's like watching Hannibal. Sure. Where you should watch Hannibal. No, I'm gonna watch Hannibal. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's like watching Hannibal. You're like, yeah, you know what? Eat, c- cooking people 
seems kind of delicious in a way. <laughs> this, I don't know. There's something yeah. I'm kind of into. You almost have this. to like dive into it as like a defense mechanism where it's like, oh, we're just slaughtering so many people casually as is most Naughty Dog games. I just have to be here for it. Yeah, I gotta be. I gotta be. Re- I gotta be like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home today and I'm going to kill a lot of people. Yep, I'm, I'm they have names it. now in a yeah. way that is like almost comical. Where literally every time a, a, a new feature in this game is anytime a, I don't know about anytime, but when enemies start dying, they all have names. So the other characters will be like, Mark, oh fuck, they killed Mark, yeah. uh, and they all have different names. But it turns into like, especially because it's like you know the kind of the stealth There's gameplay. Only so many. Yeah, you take one yeah. down, and literally every time someone goes down, they're like, Derek, oh fuck, they got <laughs> Derek, and then you take that lady down who just screamed that like, oh. Sophie, <laughs> so, oh. and then you take her down. So it's like, oh, Lynn. Like it just, it just never fucking ends in a way. Yeah. Like, of course, everybody has a name in the real world, but like, maybe they don't all need to need to say each yeah. one. It's a little goofy. Maybe you just feel bad. Uh, well, the first time I heard it, where because yeah. it was like you know killed someone in in like a kind of a stealth spot, and someone came around, they're like, hey, uh, hey, Derek, what do you see, Derek? And then I like, came around the corner, like, holy fuck, Derek, Derek's dead. I'm like, wow. They, I can't, is this scripted? This is wild. How, yeah. how did they know that I was going to kill Derek just so? Uh, and then you, they, you, you kill the dude who's finding Derek, and they're like, "Oh my god, Mike! Oh my god, Mike! Are you? Oh my god, they got Mike!" You're like, oh, "Okay, never mind. Uh, I see what's going on here." They killed other Derek. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it'd be, funny. Yeah. it'd be funny if they were all Derek's. Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard a name repeat, but uh, yeah, I wonder. I wonder how many there are in the game. It seems like a neat idea, but also it sounds like maybe they did a little too much of it. Yeah, it, it is a super neat idea. Yeah, because it really it makes like, it, it makes them it gives them you know it makes them more human then right. Totally. So they're not just ads per se or something right. Like 100%. it's like yeah, like you're like oh man, even though I need to kill these guys, like they're still their own little family and yeah. you know. Before I heard the like second name and it kind of became a meme. Uh, I I very really was like holy fuck like. Derek is just like just like me. Like that could have been that could have been my character dead mm-hmm. there. And so go, Ellie, are you oh Ellie? Like what is Derek still? Maybe Derek is what does he have going on? Yeah. yeah and then as soon as you hear Mike, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. I, don't have time. I don't have time to worry about everybody in their yeah. dog fights. So yeah. Let's go here. There's shit to do here. Yeah. I like to think it's like being a real murderer where the first few really <laughs> feel bad and then you're like, Yeah, I don't really, care what his name was. You really get yeah. comfortable in your, your craft. Yeah. <laughs> uh fucking it, sliced a lot of necks. Yeah, fuck. Uh, as a man who plays mostly stealth. Me too. Fucking opening a lot of throats out yeah. there in the in the in the wasteland. It's incredibly well crafted. Like mm-hmm. like all the Naughty Dog games, the polish is is yeah. second to none. Even in uh, the they they will play with the mechanics in a way. Uh, let's say so. I'm not going to give any of the examples you see again, but a, a great example. Uh, this is one I, I will give. There, there are notes. You're finding notes everywhere in the world, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody fucking writes notes. Everybody writes yes. a full page note and just leaves yeah. it everywhere. There's very, ten, very naughty dog. Totally, ten thousand yeah. of them. Uh, but those notes are also like plot devices. Where in cutscenes, a character will like see a note on a table, like you've been collecting, mm-hmm. and will grab that note and read you like a plot piece off the note. And you're like, oh shit, that's yeah. like that is a cool use of the mechanic I'm doing in game. Yeah, and there's like uh, sometimes uh, your in game character will like have an opinion on what what they read in the note and yep. you're like oh that's that's kind of not how i took that but ellie isn't brandon and ellie's obviously taking this a different way than i am yeah those are good i liked when she read the notes to you there's a part later where she doesn't read the notes she doesn't like give you the summary of the note i'm like no. i gotta read this whole thing <laughs> oh uh but it's very like impossibly well crafted mm. without going into detail it's it's kind of hard to talk about but there are a lot of uh what i will call potential moments of the year yes where there's a lot of spots in the game where you're like wait is this scripted or is this just a thing that could happen anytime did i make this happen or did naughty dog make this happen right uh and that feels really like it's it feels like almost a living breathing world in mm. a way where and the way you come out of some of those combat encounters um like i especially like the ones where i usually get like a little bit over half the people down in stealth, and then something goes fucking terribly wrong, and yeah, you pull out your fuck. gun, and you're like, like diving backwards and shooting from your ass and and shit, and then everyone's dead, and you're just like, Whew. and I'm like, that was fucking dope. That felt like a scripted cutscene in a lot of ways. The way everyone was like, uh, you can hear the enemies say like, get around her over by the fridge, and you fucking see the guy running by the fridge, and you pick him off, and then clickers coming from another. Do- Another thing that they do well in this game is if you played uh, Left Behind, which is the DLC, mm-hmm. uh, you get a a moment in that DLC that they never put in any of the original game mechanically, where you have uh, infected and just the shitty humans in close enough proximity 
Like infected human, regular humans, regular Un- humans, humans and infected. Yep. all in close enough proximity, like usually in different rooms or something. But you could throw a bottle in left behind and like just start a war between them by having them all be like, "Oh, what was that sound?" And like, "Oh shit, it's fucking infected." Oh, and then fuck. everyone mo- and it seems like they smartly integrated a lot more opportunities to do that in in this game and the first time you do they like they kind of like put a target on it in a way where they're like here's here's like 50 bottles yeah here's a bunch of clickers in this room here's a bunch of humans in this room and here's a (laughs) piece of concrete (laughs) yeah we're not we're not gonna tell you but i mean if you wanted to throw these bottles yeah this would be cool uh so i thought that was really cool i died in that part also in the chaos which is so perfect in the chaos of clickers running everywhere people going fucking crazy mayhem yeah a clicker just like (laughs) bounced off a dude he was killing and ran into me and tore me i was like oh (laughs) fuck this didn't go according to plan um there's a really cool uh moment uh shortly after there's a moment where the game and it it doesn't open up like for good but it opens up in a way before it kind of bottlenecks back into a pretty linear path there's a few parts where you kind of get thrown into a more open like an open world and you have a, a map yeah um that ellie is like marking really well contextually as you it's really like kind of, almost resident evil of like am i done this space or not right like she'll say something where it's like well this building's clear and then put a line through it yeah. in a way where you're like oh i love that okay i'm out of here then i don't have to fucking look in every nook and cranny because you told me i got the thing that you would come here for yeah uh and it's like super well done and i spent like an insane amount of time walking around that place it's, in a way that makes me think like I'm seven hours in, but I'm probably five hours in because I spent so much time like, oh, I'm going to explore this corner for like 15 minutes. Almost. What do these books say? <laughs> almost every building has a little scene or story in it. Like it, yeah. it, it is very, very worth your time to explore completely in those scenes. Did yeah. you get to the magic shop? Uh, not magic shop. Sorry. Um, music? music store. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. That was the one that was pointed out to me because that's totally missable. Yeah. You can just breeze right past that. You, so. you saw, I saw it uh, on like a. A, like I think she commented when she was walking by a bus stop. Yeah, and there was like a oh the music the music store yeah. over there. It was, a, it was like a sign for the music store on the bus stop, and she was like, "Oh, there's a music store in town." Yeah. Oh, and then she circles it on the map, yeah. which is really nice. Yeah. Uh, but yes, explore because there's there's a couple more parts too where you'll run into a more open world. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I got the map. I I feel like it might be broken, or maybe they just don't give you a map for those parts. Right. Um, but yes, always explore because there are like upgrades and things yeah. are, are hidden away there too, and, yeah. and, and stuff like that. Yeah. That scene in the music store. Uh, very that good. was the that was the one that like like legit sure, yeah, I brought, me, brought me to tears, and yeah. I had to stop playing yeah. for the rest of the day. Fuck. Fuck the beginning dude. of that game oh. is something. God damn it. It's a weird thing. It's mm-hmm. it's the inversion of these feelings. They're terrible feelings, but I'm so excited and and, and want to share them with people. Yeah, we got to wrap the yeah. wrap the show up. Yeah, let's get let's so get this get done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Uh, what I, I don't really have too much else to say. Keeping keeping it spoiler free. It's incredibly made. It it is more of that first game though. Mm-hmm. You know, if, the music if, is Chef's Kiss. Oh, oh always has. Mwah. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I can never remember his name on the. Uh, on the old banjo, remember we did it at E3 in, in 2012 or whatever. Yes, oh, chills. Uh, Great. Yeah, heck of a game. But it is it is just that first game. So if if you yes. did not like that first game, you're, you're not going to love this one. Yeah, yeah. Like it is a it is a competent stealth game mm-hmm. with a fantastic story. Yeah. Well, so far. <laughs> Character work, the performances. Oh, the performances oh. are unbelievable. Oh man, Ashley Johnson is so fucking good yeah. as Ellie, it and just like unreal, the mocap is dude. so good, where like Whew. just uh, they can make a face that'll make you laugh, like just respond by making like a eye roll or yeah. something, and you're like, "Fuck, that was a good eye roll." It's, I felt that eye it's roll. It's so amazing to me that we are at a point now where you can have scenes with no words in video games, and characters with just their expression can deliver incredibly complex scenes. Where yeah. like like a ten years ago, right, with like. I don't know. What's, Master what's, Chief's brick fingers. Yeah, I guess I was going to say, even 10 years of Mass Effect, we started to do it a little bit. A little bit, yeah, right? But even the... ME2 would have been 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, even the fidelity on like the Mass Effect expressions. You still needed words, yeah. right? If, you, if you're if you just showing someone raising an eyebrow, it's like, are they raising an eyebrow or is the game bugging out? I can't. <laughs> what is happening? Is their eyebrow going up through their hair? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's just so amazing to me now that, fuck, just the way that game looks and plays. Run, it looks amazing. It shouldn't be able to look this good on a baseline yeah. PS4. The PS4 yeah. sounds like it's going to blast off, Yes, but it looks so <laughs> good. Say, yeah, it's, it's wow. going to work out. But uh, that's what I can believe, too. Like, as soon as the I saw, like, how good it looked, I was like, well, this is probably not going to run that well if it looks like this, and it fucking runs fantastic. I'm excited to play more. Yeah, it is. Whew. Man. Uh, I'll probably finish it by next week. I think I'm... 
I'm barreling through it, and I need to get it done in a weird way. Yeah. It is this, like, black hole just sucking my life. It's all I can think about at all times yeah. right now. That's what I, I even texted Andy and Warren, I think, at work, when I was at work, and I was like, I just think about, all I can think about is Last of Us. I want to go home. It's a heck of a time. It's cool. Yeah. Games like that seem rare. They are They're incredibly rare. This is yeah. one yeah. of those games that we'll be talking about for for years to come. It's nice. one of the one of those special ones. Uh, there is avid fucking hate to it. It 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 features a not heterosexual, mm-hmm. not male protagonist. Yes. Uh, so the Metacritic score is down to like three three it was three point six last I checked. Mm-hmm. Turns out people. Uh, it turns out people suck, Andrew. <laughs> turns out people fucking suck everywhere. Yeah. No, and that's no surprise. So don't don't let the don't let the fucking shitheads throw you off. There's, there's no political agenda here, I don't think. And the people who try to read into it as such can go fuck themselves. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck off. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's, it's like the fact that, like, it is a problem, the fact that including people who, tr- who exist in real life, mm-hmm. gay women, uh, like, she just rattles the cage. Uh, yeah, she totally could be yeah. by. Although I think, I don't know, there's, ah, I can't say anything! Yeah. Sorry, I just punched my mic, but there's a scene real early about, uh, I, I'll, we'll just say about a potential boyfriend for Ellie that I found so funny and yeah. so fucking charming. Oh, yes. It's a very oh, sweet well, the, the little, the little town that you start in yeah. is fucking so great. Jackson. And the Jackson you meet, Jack, Jackson? I think it's Jackson. Jacksonville is where AJ Styles is from, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> no, probably. he's from Gainesville. Gainesville, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got to get out of here. We got to get a lot. I was going to say, yeah. you guys are getting yeah. threateningly get close to start to talk about two specific yeah, details. No, you're yeah. right. You're right. Love it. Top to bottom. Love everybody in that game. God bless the folks who who gave their lives to make that game happen. Yeah. Yeah. Probably worth mentioning that also Naughty Dog is not so good with the labor practices yes, sometimes. The, the, so. the crunch shows, unfortunately. Yes. Uh, uh, there's probably a reason, a very dark and sad reason why that game looks Second to none. Powered by blood. Yes. Uh, what else have you been playing? You got anything else here? I don't think, no. I can no. talk a little bit about uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker. I want to play this game. Yeah, it's cool. But I do not have the means. It, uh, so I think it might come to console. It's 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 pretty basic. It is uh, Right now, I believe it's only on Steam Early Access. Mm-hmm. Uh, the conceit of the game is you, a first-person game, you are a junker. You, you break down old spaceships. You cut them apart. You put some components into the furnace. You know, a metal we melt down to resell. Yeah. You put some parts into the processor, computers and things we put in the processor. Mm-hmm. And then some pieces we just take hold of the, the seats. I can sell those. Put those on the on the barge. I can I can resell those seats no problem. Computer mm-hmm. panels, boom, the barge. Um, and you have a laser scissor which shoots two two beams in a line. Uh, kind of kind of almost on infinite length on a plane. So you, you can cut. You basically just cut a line. It's like a lightsaber. Mm-hmm. So the. Uh, the, the the ships are, are such that you will usually have to cut open a panel to kind of get access to a bulkhead, sure. which is where these like weld points are. Um, and and the idea of the the game is to like cut apart the ship the fastest you can, or the most efficiently as you can. You is are, it actually uh, fastest, or well, is it like the least amount of cuts? Uh, it's definitely fastest because you okay. are. So it's not like the kind of thing where it's like I can sit there and look at it for a long time and be like, "What's the mm, best strategic way to do this?" Every ship is kind of the same. You start to recognize the classes of the ships in a in a weird way. It's like uh, it's like we're on cars in a way where it's like, "Oh, eighty seven Honda." Yeah, I know it's like the back yeah. of my fucking head. Let's do this. That's right. Um, but no, it is time because you are you're you're like renting your equipment. So every shift, which is I think fifteen minutes in game, you uh, you know that's your shift. You go back in, you got to pay X amount of dollars mm-hmm. for your gun you're renting for all this stuff. I always prefer when games register time by actions. Yeah, so there is a challenge mode that they're adding right away, which yeah. I wonder what that'll be. If that'll be a like few least amount cuts of cuts, or, yeah. yeah. Um, but it it. it so at its most basic, you're just cutting these ships apart. You're just, you know, you're going in, you are are like cutting frames apart to... I, I have a really good system now where I know where to cut into a bulkhead on this certain class of ship, and you, you you laser cut, it cuts a line down the panel, you laser cut, it cuts this way, you cut yourself a little square. Uh, it's all in zero-G as well. So you use your, your, your little tether gun, which is like a gravity gun, mm-hmm. you know, you suck it out, get yourself in the bulkhead, which is where all the uh, framework of the ship is, and I know that I just gotta cut these welds, and then the whole outside of the ship just, whoosh, like, sloughs off. Will it float away? Or does it kind yeah. of... It, no, it'll okay. float away. If you bump it, it'll, it'll start to float into space. 
Uh, so then you gotta like grapple it back or something. It's yeah, up. it's it seems like there's a little bit of inertia like dampening because it won't right. if it, if it drifts off, it won't just go off forever. You won't yeah, lose that's kind of what I was. But it'll kind of like donk 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 against the mm. edge of the uh, kind of play space. Um, and then they start to introduce more complications where like okay, now the ship is pressurized. Now mm. we are in space, but the inside of the ship has pressure. So if I cut into it from the outside, it fucking explodes. It turns out <laughs> uh, and blows the whole ship apart <laughs> and yeah. kills you if you're close enough. I was say you've experienced that firsthand, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they start to add reactors where the second the reactor loses power, it starts ticking down like a bomb, and you have a, a certain amount of time, not very much, like 15 seconds or something, to get it to a like a stasis point before it blows up. Can you just cut the reactor out and push it away? Uh, They'll just hit that imaginary well, wall and yeah, blow up. You, can, you, can push it. you have to push into the barge, basically. You're going to resell that reactor. Yeah. Uh, so usually I cut the whole floor out of the ship, take the whole floor off the bottom mm-hmm. so that the reactor is a straight shot, and I can just whew, fire it out of the ship yeah. and just floats down. But then they start to do things like power lines. So you're... In the you know cutting through the bulkhead, I know where to cut there. Like oh yeah, I can get I can get this is how I get in normally. Mm-hmm. Cut through, and as you're cutting through, like you cut through a power line. Like power line, what's that? That's weird. And then the reactor starts going because it lost power, and so they're like oh fuck, I get the reactor out of here. Apparently it's gonna blow. And they so they start to add more and more and more complications where you know there are fuel lines and fuel cells and and all this. Uh, it's very early right now, mm-hmm. where all the ships kind of look the same, which really sucks. That's the biggest part that bummed me out, is all the ships are just kind of lame tubes. Like, sure. as, as spaceships go, they are very, very unimaginative. So hopefully that's what they're working on, is kind of variety. And, yeah, totally. You know. uh, and they've said they are. Like, it's, it's really, really early. There's a baseline campaign there. Um, I think they have three different classes of ships, but they all are basically the same. Uh, but it's very cool. It's, it's like a really cool framework, and in a weird way that, like, you, I can imagine myself getting good at cars. We're like, oh, I know how to take the chassis off this ship now. And then you just cut them through here. Bzz, 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 away you go. Minutes. Totally. Uh, and I find that stuff really satisfying in a way. It's, uh, it's, it's one of those, like, repetitive, not, yeah. not, not repetitive, because you are thinking and, and there's a little bit of, like, you know, operation. Don't touch the sides with certain components. Yeah. And, but, like, it's that calming action where it's like oh i just know how to do this yeah. i can unscrew this and this yeah. comes off no, and i can do it with my eyes closed now really i played a cell phone game that this reminds me of in in only that way uh where it was on apple arcade and i can't remember what it was called but i can look it up before the end of the show and it was like you're a repair person a a handy a handy woman uh who like can repair watches and like music boxes and stuff like that mm-hmm. and it was basically just like here's a music box and you like spin it to see the underneath and then you grab your screwdriver and unscrew this and this take this out and click it back together and all the sounds were really good last of us has some fucking great sounds when you're working on your weapon yeah and picking so you want to can i tell you I, I just thought of this can i this is maybe I, this is not a spoiler this uh-huh. is like a gameplay tip with safe oh right, here I'll, i'm just gonna say you, you have an r one here i'm gonna plug one ear you, you have an r1 <laughs> hearing ability right yeah. just just like the first game yes. they, have, they have very good hearing super yeah. hearing you might say yes uh, he- hearing that allows you to see through walls. Yeah, it's hearing so good that if you can see through walls, yo, you could probably use that hearing to crack a safe real easy. If maybe you didn't find the numbers in the environment. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, use, now I'll use, never look use, for. Uh... Use that as you may. I will just say that I learned this early and then just stopped looking for numbers for safes because man, is it way easier to just yeah do that's it my way. That they would put that in there. Uh, it is kind of fucked yeah. actually. It's also I mean, fucked that everyone puts this code to their safe somewhere before they die. Yeah, five minutes away from the safe, usually. Yeah. That's just video game logic, though. I totally. Yeah, that's, just, yeah, that's just video games. Uh, hard Space Shipbreaker. Terrible yes. name for a video game, but there's already a game on Steam called Shipbreaker, so I bet that's why they did it. Uh, very cool. Very early right now, but very cool. Uh, any of the games here, gentlemen? Part one? I think that's me in a nutshell. I'm looking up my mystery game. <gasps> you brought a mystery game? No, oh, the, the one, one I, the phone the game one I about. But I'll have it for you after yeah, Jack in the boxes. We'll, uh, we'll bring that to you after this musical break. Let's come back talk about some news, gentlemen. I got a little bit of news, a little bit of news this week. Uh, nothing crazy. Did did forget to mention me pointed out. Uh, did forget to mention incredible soundtrack for uh, Hard Space. I would I would like to nominate it for potentially the best music of the year. Just don't forget. Put on a list. It's not out yet. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. No, that's a good point. Actually, yeah. If it comes out of early access, I would like to nominate it for music of the year. Now we're talking. Hey, do we have those lists started? I was say, there was Start them up. I thought, I'm yeah, fucking. Okay. I have my list. I think because I might have when, one somewhere because I, I remember I, I remember having this conversation and so I like, start it. Remember uh, last year uh, losing some early game moments and stuff because I couldn't remember them. Yeah. So we should get that on. 
as good as we can. It's Andy's isn't first it, list. I know. Isn't it crazy that we're starting to talk about Game of the Year already? So, Didn't we just I'm finish Game of the, the Year? We're halfway through the year, I though, so know. yeah, like it's, it's time to start thinking about it. I'm of the mind that you should just put the list up fucking January Day 1. Day 1. We should. We and honestly then, should. And then, as you go. not only does it make it so we don't forget, but it's also like, then you never have that moment when you're like, Oh fuck! We're already talking about it because you're just—it's just always there. Yeah, we're always talking about. It Game used of the to be year. E3, right? It used to be like, "Fuck, is it really E3 already?" Because that's when we would all get like way back into video games. We'd have yeah. that like kind of like spring lull, and then Madden and came then, out, and, and then everything right. happened. Like, oh fuck! Look at all the good <laughs> video games. These video games don't even come out for three years, but they make me more excited about the shitty games that are out now. Yeah, I'll make that list. We'll start nominating some some oh, things. So we're doing some stuff. categories. Uh, we, we need to talk about it. that. Yeah. So what was the one that was totally fucked? Best writing. No, best story. Best, best story slash writing is completely we had, fucked. We had we had a tough time with that one. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll 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 have that conversation soon. Yes. And <laughs> coming to January strong this year. Hell yes. Uh, EA Play happened last year. Speaking of, it's about E three time. Check these notes out, stream. Look, at that. I can hold that in front of the camera for you. EA Play happened. Uh, I did not pull every announcement by any means. I just pulled uh, kind of some of the main ones. So if anybody has anything here that I missed they want to talk about, by all means. Uh, let's start with the banger. New skate game. Wait, what? Not skate four? Whoa, nobody said four. Nobody said nobody four. Nobody said four. All they said is they're making a new skate game, and it is not going to be a mobile game. Skate four ever. That would be, oh, they should do that. Ding. They should, yeah. and then they just keep every time they're going to add skate stuff. They just put it onto that game. Yeah, let's. I we should start <laughs> doing that. Plat- platform, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Destiny, skate. I don't think I've ever played a skate game. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah. the, it doesn't oh, work for everything. Yeah, no, it's something that, that's not going to fly for. <laughs> just Mario just gets like yeah. a new branch to the world. Yeah. Yeah. He's just skate. Oh, there's more oh, beyond paper. Bowser's Castle. That'd be kind of dope. When it's like, oh, it's all, it's all. In, like, all right, hear me out, Nintendo. Hear me out. It's all in one big cat. All right, one in, second. So Nintendo. Not going to hear you out because yeah, they don't listen to people. American business- <laughs> I also don't think they have the internet. Out there. American businessmen of Nintendo, hear me out. Uh, 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 Reggie, Reggie, he's a good man. I need you. He's not with Nintendo no, anymore. He's... Come back, brother. He's Bowser. He's, he's doing he's... something in video games. What's he doing? He's he, he is back board. to something. Yeah, isn't he? He's, he's a board of directors sort of... for something. Game Awards, something about that. You're totally right. Yeah. Is it the Game Awards? It's something weird. Is it the ESRB? Let me just say Reggie. I don't like, I don't like either, of those, either, either of those. Click, but. What is Reginald. he uh, invented the what the Kicking Sasquatch pizza eight. or whatever it Hell was? Yes. Pride of Pizza Hut. Let me tell uh, you, if Reggie showed up to that pedophile's house with his pizza, <laughs> that pedophile's getting his pizza. <laughs> and, and no one's and, stopping and like, Reggie. Yeah. Everyone is like, everyone's getting what they need at that point. That. The yeah, he's pedophile just solve is, the problems. Yeah, recanting and like getting the psychiatry he needs. The Hell's Angels are like hanging up their cuts. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, <laughs> it in. Yeah. The kids are like learning real good life lessons. Like he just like walks in with the pizza. GameStop. Okay, that, that's what it <laughs> also, was. Also, something called Spin Master. So I'm, I'm just looking at his uh, employer on Wikipedia. GameStop 2020 to present. And at the very bottom, it just says Spin Master. Reggie Fizemi is the Spin Master from 2020 to present. That's fucked. Uh, is that like you said as insult? No, it's uh, apparently it's a toy company. Okay, but I thought it was like he's the, he's yeah, the Nintendo spin master. sucks, but he can spin it. Like yeah, it's good. they can spin anything, man. The pizza it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, he fucking spin a pizza. I don't. Even, how, why are we talking about Reggie again? Oh, I don't Mario. Know. Yes. Yeah, a live Sorry. service game. Everything in a castle. It's a castle. It's the ca- N64 Peach's Castle. New Paper Mario comes out. A new door shows up. It's locked. <gasps> Kids what could it who be? don't even know that the game is coming out are going to go to the store. They're going to see this locked, but they're going to see behind it. Maybe through a grate or a keyhole. Or a keyhole. Oh, yes. Yeah. Perfect keyhole. Yeah. They're going to see Paper Mario behind it, Andy. We're going to advertise to these. They're not even going to know that we're advertising to them. Mm-hmm. And then you sell them $70 key. Key. We'll call key it, LC. We'll call key it LC. Key. Boom. Done. Yeah. Done. We can, we can have parties where they go on sale. We can call them key parties. Key parties. I'd rather be dead. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make millions, Andrew. And then everyone could be like, "Well, they want the digital version." They're like, "Hey, can you send me a key key?" <laughs> Christ, <laughs> I need a key for the key LC. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you handing uh, out those key key LC keys? Stop it! Super Super Saiyan Pod Super Saiyan Super. super. <laughs> Uh, new skate game, probably skate four. Very funny because we just uh, did. We ever run the story here I about the? Don't know if it will be skate four because why wouldn't you call it skate four now? 
Yeah, it, I think it'll yeah. be called Skate. Right. Right. New new skate, skate game. Yeah. And and maybe the A is stylized as a four in some promotional materials. Sure. So who knows? Uh I don't know if we did the story about uh Which skater? The, the, the sk- <laughs> Good the luck with your dump in- <laughs> twenty need for speed twenty nine. Yeah. Just make another fucking skate game. No one wants to play your fucking mobile skate game. I'm just gonna type Need for Speed twenty nine into Google and see if I can find it. It's good. Uh, that man was not happy. I, I don't know Jason current skaters. Jason so. Dill. Yep, I did find it. Tough okay. story. Jason Dill. Basically, uh, I, I, if we did run the story, please forgive me, but EA contacted him uh, for some some uh, mobile skate game or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, I'm going to read to you what Jason Dill said. <laughs> So this woman emailed me and said, Hey, Jason, we want to do a mobile version of Skate 3. And I wrote back and said, What else? She wrote back and said, No, that's it. So I wrote back and said, Look, no big deal, but no one wants your stupid mobile version of Skate 3. Make Skate 4 fucking already. Just do it. You can't level it to the same numbers you get on other games. You do it for a cultural thing. It pays you back later. (laughs) Hang on. (laughs) He We're just getting started. He's not done. <laughs> <laughs> he, sign- <laughs> he signs his refusal to EA, this this poor PA person from EA, saying, good luck on Need for Speed 29. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, he's uh, good, and it, you know what? That so receptionist or whoever it was uh, took a look at that email, yeah, and like, she's like, God we gotta, damn it. We gotta make this happen. We gotta make this game. We gotta make this game. Jason Dill this game. is fucking right. Right. He's need got us speed, in a bit of a Need for Speed 29? Delay it. That's right. We need Skate today. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Delay it. Jason Dill <laughs> is making fun of Need for Speed 29. Right. <laughs> Go. Good luck on Need for Speed 29. <laughs> Oh, just what a sick burn from like the least likely of places. You just picture him like hitting send and just flipping his phone across the room. Oh, yeah. Got him. Uh, They also, EA, they. uh, Announced release date for Squadrons. They show a little bit of gameplay. It's coming Mm -hmm. on October 6th. No microtransactions, which. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you said you'd eat your hat. I would eat my headphones, I think, because I wasn't wasn't wearing a hat. I think we sent a lot of headphones. Didn't have a hat, and I believe I called into question if you'd ever had a hat on in your life. Yes. Probably. I think that was on. I can confirm nor deny. I think that was on episode 208 of the podcast. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, five years ago. Let's go back and check that. Segment C. Yeah, (laughs) segment C. There we go. See, we're, we're, we're really utilizing those numbers here. They say it's a not being built with a live service mentality, which uh, is a little fucked that EA a, has to get out there and say that at all mm-hmm. and be interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. What are they? You what have are they going to gonna do if it's just, it's not it's not going to be a forty dollars game? Here you go. It's going to die. Like like it's not going to be an on rush, is it? It might be. It, yeah. it kind of sounds closer to an on rush than anything. Like yeah. the price point and everything, where where it's like, well, there's no. It's just multiplayer. It's all you're going to finish the yeah. campaign, which sounds, very which sounds like you might have to way. finish the campaign before you can play the multiplayer. It, it kind of it, it sounds like you probably have to play a level or two. I sort of figure training. It's like, oh, play the X-Wing, play the TIE Fighter. All right, here you go. Sure. Is what I'm I guessing. I hope so. Because you have to play. What, it's like, it would be the most it's backwards never, video game never design. Been done, I yeah, don't if think. you if you had to. It's EA fucking breaking down yeah. <laughs> new things all the time. Uh yeah, it looks it looks good. The gameplay looks good. Yeah, it I, looks that, like what you want a game like that to at least look and sound like. That trailer totally won me over. Full hotel support, full full VR in a way that I wonder if you're gonna be able to get into those cockpits and like press buttons and and flip switches and you know look up above you and do things. And I hope not because I'll crash. <laughs> yeah, I probably won't work on the. Uh, as soon as they the, expect on, me on to controller. reroute my power, you're gonna have to do that I'm for fucking sure. Going that'll down. be that'll probably be the D pad, like always, right? Shields, one direction, weapons, engines, it's and then just, balanced or whatever. They just tell your droid to do it. Yeah. I so mean, oh, in VR, hopefully it has moment. voice attack, hopefully or, or like voice control where you're yeah. like. Set engines. Set, set powered engines. Full powered engines. And R2, like, full powered engines. I don't have to flip anything. I'm busy blasting the guy in front of me. I mean, if you're in a TIE fighter, you have to do it yourself. But yeah. They probably have. You do the last Jedi where I'd be like, put it all in shields, and fucking we're going right through this ship. Yeah, let's yeah. do this. Yeah. All in, all into the warp core. It's all, in, right. all into warp. Uh, October the 6th is the date for that. Uh, Apex, Seven. coming to Switch. Getting cross-play, so I'm not clear. Is this... Fresh meat. Cross-play for everything? <laughs> will everything cross-play everything, or will Switch... Crossplay everything. Oh, they dope. put they put a graphic up yeah. that was like Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Switch, and 
e the uh, the other online service that I think it's Origin. on. Origin. Yeah, could be. Uh, all in like this like grid saying crossplay. Dope. That's yeah. very dope. Uh, and a bunch more games are coming to Steam because they've kind of realized that everybody hates uh, Origin. It's, yeah. It is Origin. I mean, it's, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, Origin. Yeah. Uh, Titanfall. Yeah, yeah. Titanfall two coming to Steam. Namely, it was a top seller on Steam. I saw. What is it crossplay? Yes. No, Fuck. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Again, we can actually play it. I know. Uh, I'm sure it's cross, but like PC plays with PC. I'm sure Steam plays with Origin, but I don't think PC yeah. plays with. No, I would need it. Oh, to it play needs with it so Xbox. bad, man. Dude, that game has such a sparse play base. Nobody played Titanfall two. Yeah, and it's dope. It's so good. Yeah, it's worth it's... buying just for the campaign. Totally. And then fucking play the multiplayer because it's dope. Yeah. yeah, it still makes me sad. I don't feel like we are able to take full advantage of it. It might nope. be. There's six people playing. If you can get all six of us on at the same time, we never can play. Good. It's just yeah. Ward never really liked it, and that made it difficult. Yeah, that's he too bad. Yeah, he wasn't it's, into it. It so. feels like every game there's one of us that's just like, I fucking wish I liked this because this could be the game. Yeah, weird. Weird that we all don't have the exact same identical taste. That's true. Uh, they should have Last of Us two multiplayer. Remnant from the Ashes, boys. We go. Yeah, let's, let's get we, after that. Let's on get that after train. that. What is that? It's a third person kind of. It's a it's a third person cooperative shooter. It's it's kind of got Dark Souls elements though. You have a you know healing thing you use five times and then it resets every kind of checkpoint and you uh, and it's free on Game Pass. Yeah, it's free free on Game we're Pass. All about it. Well, why are we yeah. playing it? We got because I'm, Matt made us come here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, download That's, it. It's good. It's very. Yeah, I I really like it. I have to wait till you guys finish Last of Us too, and then we can play it. I want to play that game though. It'd be good. I'm always looking for new multiplayer games. I like doing that. It's very dope. Yeah. And he's going to jump on the single player train for the next generation. I play a lot of games. Yeah. I ended up finishing Remnant. Turned out the people I played Remnant with were not very good at Remnant because oh, we were just. Good, you'll be ready for me then. We were stuck on a boss, <laughs> and then I played on single player and just breezed through that game. I was uh, like, man, this game's hard. In fairness, I feel like that happens to me with a lot of multiplayer games where yeah. it like scales up in a way that I'm like. We all got to be really fucking yeah, good to. Like, yeah. it's. Like, I want it to be, like, if I have four people, four me's. Not if I have four people, like, M you I and three elite players. <laughs> <laughs> elite. <laughs> uh, that's all I pulled here from the EA Play stuff. There's a couple Sims expansions, I think. Uh, I nothing, nothing that I personally, or I don't think anyone here is interested in, so we mm -hmm. pull them. Uh, new Pokemon Snap announced for Switch. It's called New Pokemon Snap. Nintendo nails it with the names. Boom! Uh, totally new game. New Pokemon, new courses. It looks like you're still in the cart on the rails. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like Pokemon Snap, but what if there was some new Pokemon Snap? Which seems real dope. That's all I want Pokemon Snap to be. I was super jacked because I saw that uh, they were doing some sort of Pokemon thing like the morning that they were going to do their little presser or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, okay, I got some time to burn. I'm bored at work. Let's watch this thing. Fuck, when that screen popped up of, like, the the camera frame uh, over top of a Pokemon, I was like, fuck off! Am I seeing this live right now? Steer Oko. Wonderful! Yeah. Oh, it's it's honestly one of the, like, longest-running, like, you almost call it a joke, the where like it's like every time you... Pokemon games. Every time someone brings up Pokemon Snap, it all, every conversation ends with... They should make a new Pokemon Snap. Yeah, yeah, like I just couldn't believe that. And like something that like had no build up or any rumors or anything. I was no. just like, oh, fuck. Like we're, we're talking about a fucking toothbrush app and then some sort of mobile game, which actually I'm kind of excited <laughs> to play that. App. Yeah, like you guys didn't see that? <laughs> no, what's the toothbrush no, and yeah, I didn't watch any of this. Other than so, Pokemon so they're releasing an app where um, it's supposed to help you brush your teeth for two minutes. And like the Pokemon in the game, like encourage you to brush your teeth every oh, single okay. day. And it like reminds you to get your teeth hey, brushed. That's fun. They brush along with you and yeah so they I make no pokemon brush their teeth yeah no, no, i, I didn't even too. know pokemon had teeth to be mm -hmm. honest well, some of them some of them no bite yeah you're right you're totally right <laughs> it looks super cute so i mean great for yeah. the kids so so yeah and then they had a mobile game where um it's just like a mobile puzzle game pokemon cafe or something like that i don't know if you guys saw that but jump what's that just called switch jump i think it's just called uh that looks stupid yeah, I don't know what you're um, talking about. What? Yeah, it's it, it a, seems like you uh, don't have to jump. You, it's, well, you have to jump. Honor system. You don't have a... You, well, I mean, I guess you could just move. I don't think you have to you jump. You could just squat. I don't think it's a... I don't think the legs do anything. No, it's it like tracks the, the motion. Just the arms. Yeah, you could cheat. Like like we Fit, you could cheat it, but are you cheating no. it or are you cheating yourself? But the, Yeah, but the... I think <laughs> Fuck we, you, fitness. I think if we Fit one, there's you put the thing on your leg... 
And it's like, well, you're at least going down. Yeah. I don't know if you're cheating or not. I don't think the skip one even has that. Uh, so it's a... Y- it's y- like, we're trusting you to jump 100 times. Yep. Fucking use your wrists yep. in whatever. It's f- it's a free uh, little little game on the Wii where you hold the Joy Cons uh, and it kind of it, it's like jump and you're supposed to jump like you have a skipping rope. You oh, pretend yeah. you have a virtual skipping rope. But you could just totally you could just totally just spin that. Yeah, hands. you could just yeah. you just move your hands. Which I totally get what you're saying. Then don't get the game. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, you know, it's, <laughs> it's free. It's yeah, free. But it's you know, I don't know. It's a little jump thing that looked kind of. Uh, while we're nailing all these, because I don't know if we. I feel like this got released or uh, announced after our last podcast. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts Melodies game. Did did we talk about this? Not on this fucking podcast. Yes. We didn't. <laughs> we did talk. I, mean, damn sure. I feel like we talked about it like when we, we were playing. I think games. it was. I think it was very, maybe oh. very briefly mentioned last yeah. week. I just. I you know. I don't keep track specifically what we're talking about. Uh, in regards to Kingdom Hearts, but I do know just, whenever it's brought up because I remember every specific time Matt gets angry at and, it. Well, yeah, I mean, we're just true. always talking about it it's nonstop, true. right? It's just we, we just live that Kingdom Hearts life so hard. I'm up for take all the Kingdom Hearts stuff away from the core, okay. put it on the peripheral. Okay. I am up for a rhythm game where I get to bang out some Disney jams. Yeah. I'll, I'll be in for that. And like Final Fantasy esque jams. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts got some good music. Final Fantasy has some very good music. Yeah. But I, uh, we're not playing Final Fantasy music on the rhythm game. Yeah, that's, I think we're playing. We get the Kingdom Sephiroth Hearts. song at least. One one winged angel. That'd be pretty. <laughs> Sephiroth. Andy, you don't know no, Sephiroth. No, I don't. <laughs> sure. I only knew it from the Sounds like DVDs. I need to know though. <laughs> many many DVDs. But let's just say when Sephiroth music hits and Jr. says, "By God, that Sephiroth music," you will. You'll pop. Be ashamed of your teens and actions. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, back to your list of games that's not as cool as the one I brought up. Pokemon Snap? That was pretty cool. Next one. I don't know, Can yeah. I just say the last thing I want to say about Pokemon Snap? Yeah, I have well, one closing well, thought too. On. Okay, yeah. The one thing I'm really hoping about this game, like, I'm probably going to get it just for, like, it'll be a cool nostalgia thing. <laughs> and honestly, too, actually, I'm not going to say that because you guys might fuck me. Uh, but, uh, no, you got to go no, now. No, no. Uh, yeah, no, and, and honestly, too, I'm, I'm, I'm sexually attracted to Pokemon. So, so well, yes. no, no, no. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say, honestly, I think that um, it's up there for Mario Kart of being like a good date game with somebody. Because oh, if you're going to play a game with a girl, yeah, like yeah. that's one that she's probably played back in the day as a child. Right. It'll be super sexually nostalgic. Sexually attracted to Pokemon. I feel yeah. you, dog. So, yeah, dude, you're it's, in the you're in the wheelhouse. It's the daddy but, issues yeah. of 2020. You're, you're in the wheelhouse. Yeah, she played Pokemon Snap as a kid. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> but anyways, in all seriousness, that's that was one thing where I thought of like, ah, that'd actually be pretty pretty cool. Yeah. But no, I'm ex- I'm actually kind of excited to play this game. But uh, I hope when you're playing it, I'm hoping that um, the levels are a little more randomized with like how the Pokemon are acting and behaving, and it feels more so like you're actually going out and kind of doing photography in a way, and then maybe you can get like a good Reddit page where you can be like, oh, these fucking Pikachus are doing this in my world, and it was kind of weird So and I think I'm with you. Don't you? Is but this, don't you want from a... I know, and that's what I was going to bring hmm. up is that takes away the like idea of the perfect run that yeah. everyone was super into in it was like the original. In I was never into it. But, like, there were people who were like, well, it's an art to get, this is the highest score you can get, and it's all fucking about timing and throwing Mm. the right things the right places and everything, and as much as I'm kind of like, I might actually like Andy's thing better, where, because I'm never going to be that guy who wants the high score, I'm going to be the guy who wants some better playability in a game, like some legs, so I probably agree where it's like, well, yeah, it'd be nice if... I didn't just stare at this pond because I knew this Pokemon was going to jump out right when I got to this spot. Uh, if it was kind of like, oh, you have to react like an actual photographer. Yeah, like if you're looking off to one side and all of a sudden you hear like water splash behind you, it's like, oh, fuck, go whip around and see what's over there. But like it's, mm-hmm. it doesn't happen every single time, so you're not just waiting for it, right? You know, I want to be going by an ocean and then have like a fucking whale lord just blow out of the water. I'm like, oh, shit, and fucking get the that's thing my out, boy right? Or po- maybe a whale lord blows in out. In Pokemon Go, that's my buddy, Andy. That wh- wh- whale lord? I don't whale even know lord. his name. Whale lord? lord. Yeah, he walks. That's a dumb name. He's very. He's like bigger than Snorlax. That's, dumb. That's my boy. He's, he's bigger than Snorlax. He's so big. He's fucking massive. It's like he's a, so it's big, like a dude. Adject- like it's, uh, they should drop the D. It should be whale lore. Whale lore. I, I like yeah, whale lore. Okay. But then you're whale like, lord whaler. is like. Is he a whale lord? Yeah. That's whale. Lord. He is. It's whale lord. He's huge. huge. That's my buddy though. That's yeah. weird. That that's whale my favorite. Lord, and you pulled out a second. Sorry. Obviously, my son Glarian Bong Weezing is my favorite, mm. but second yeah. favorite. So, but anyways, I think that that would be really cool. So, like, to have to, and to have to pick moments, too, right? Like, oh, I'm going to focus on these guys, what's happening over here, and then, like, there might be something going on over here, but it's like, no, I'm going to, the Pikachus is what I want, and, like, you know, 
It's, Snorlax, a great name. Oh, so good. Munchlax, also very good. Yeah, yeah Munchlax, is a good, he's a beauty. Uh, I, the, to, to me, that is very against the ethos of, if, if you're going to do, don't put it on the rails. If you're going to do like, if, if there's randomness, we're doing real photography, don't put it, real photographers aren't on the rails. Real photographers don't move through a scene of the set page. I think I'm you still, off the rails. I, I think, and you know, it's, it's weird. <laughs> Sometimes I'm on the rails and that really makes me go off the rails. <laughs> No, I'm saying that. I think that that would be have to be the one thing that you for sure kept in the game to yeah. keep to its nostalgia. They're like these it would have to stay on rails. Intricate clockwork machines. For me, the joy of Pokemon Snap was very much like it's like a Hitman level in that I know I, I'm learning. And the more I play these levels, the more I'm learning. Okay, everything is moving just so. And like by sticking a, spo- a stick in the spokes, by throwing an apple here or a. a Pest ball there or whatever. It's a domino effect. Uh, totally, and yeah. and you're like interacting with this with this Rube Goldberg machine in in a really weird, interesting way. And they could, if they kept it like that, they could do some way cooler stuff on this hardware than they ever could on the N64. Totally. Where it's and like, where it is like a Hitman level, where it's like, well, if I want to get the the picture of the Zapdos or whatever, I have to do these five things yeah. all the way through the level and take these exact pictures because it pisses off the Pokemon or whatever the fuck happens. Maybe there's room for like both. It. Maybe, yeah. there is. maybe there's room for both. Yeah, there could be, right? You know, or maybe I, one of you is wrong. That could be it as well, too. <laughs> tried, tried and true over here. Mm-hmm. Pokemon Snap, great yep. game. Clockwork Machine, yep. Future games, Hitman, great. Mm-hmm. Now, how many random photography games have you ever? Or er, Ermani, Gen- no, something Generation. I don't know. That Red, I've Red any. Sky. I don't know, awesome I'll tell Walker you, I've, about it I think lot. I've only played the the one photography game Fatal overall. Frame? Fatal, you play Fatal nope. Frame? Nope. It's a game uh, for stupid babies. I think they're touche. I think there is a little bit of photography in Deadly Premonition, maybe. Uh, well, there's a little bit of photography in Spider Man. Yeah. But I mean, ah, uh, Spider Man is totally a photography game. Uh, More pictures. Spider Man. Is any game of the photo mode a photography game? Yeah. Or do you have Last to have Last of Us 2, hottest like, new photography game. Super Smash Bros. Well, every single Switch game is a photography game, though. Every single Switch game has a, photo- a photo mode? You can always you, snap a picture. There's literally a button on the Switch. That's different. That's just a screenshot. Oh! No, no. No, no. no. <laughs> love, love a hard. No, no. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's Band about time. <laughs> Brash Candifoot 4. Uh, it's about time. Is the subtitle of the game, not me editorializing yes. at long last. I was watching Matt put these notes into the doc uh, live. and It's about put, fucking time and cra- deleted the fucking... Crash Bandicoot 4 and then put it's about time. And I like closed the doc just thinking like, I had no idea Matt was so into Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> crash, secret crash then. Uh, was leaked by the Taiwanese ratings board. Uh, makes a lot of sense, right? We've had the Crash remasters, which are very well received. The uh, CTR Crash Team Racing remaster. Uh, Andrew, your thoughts as 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 the kart racing game editor here at Talking Reckless. Mm-hmm. Uh, your thoughts on Crash Team Racing? I've never played Crash Team Racing. Oh, shit. how did you right? get this job? Oh, I never shit. had it back in the day. Um, also, I've just been assigned the position. I'm going to lose it very quick here. <laughs> and you anime editor as well. I want and what what editor? Anime editor. I actually yeah. am kind of like on the verge of getting really into anime because so, I really like One Punch Man. Can like we, let's have a real, okay, real, real, real right. discussion let's here. Anime, you have realized the same thing I did. Anime is just another medium for telling stories. That's but great. You, you can tell good stories. You can tell bad horny stories. You can you can yeah, you can tell I mean, good horny stories. Are they bad? You can tell great. You, I mean, it's a just horny a story is still a horny story. It's just I mean, a medium. <laughs> that's what we got to get. Are you trying to say that the horny circle and the good circle are just overlapping yeah, each other? My, yeah, it's, it's not even a like. What do you call I, that? I chart? only see circle one circle. Chart? Chart? No. Yeah, it's just one circle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all part of the same fucking uh, universe. That's what we got to get Warren to realize. You know, it's nah. just a, it's just you a medium for telling stories. You know what? I'm not as passionate about um, turning people over to things as you guys are, like yeah. with Dragon Ball Z and stuff. I'm just like, fine, then, whatever. I'm going to enjoy this fucking awesome thing. Sorry that you got to miss uh, out because you don't want to just maybe allow I've, something different into your life. It's just because I've been there. You know, I was afraid mm-hmm. of different a long time ago, but I've learned. And, and on the other side of it, I'm like, this is so much better. I need to bring this to other people also. It's tough having like telling people to watch this show and having them like just unequivocally, once they finally break through, be like, it's a pretty good fucking yeah. show. And then not like just get frustrated when someone doesn't want to watch because you're like, I swear, it's fucking good. Yeah, I know it's I so hard that to break my, through. I, I know it's a cartoon. You just got to trust me on this. Yeah. That's my biggest problem with it, too, is like I think I just got to the point where 
just the feeling of trying to get somebody to watch something, especially when it's your friends, right? Yeah. Like, it just it, cr- it crushes me when I can't get them to watch something. I'm just like, you know what? Whatever. I'm just going to enjoy this thing. If they want to do it, they can do it, but I'm not going to waste my energy mm-hmm. on trying to get them into it. It means a lot to me, though, that we we brought another person who did not really like you, because you never were really into anime at all before. It's a great right? gateway drug. Well, totally but I wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't into it. I just wasn't watching it, right? Yeah, like, I mean, you know, like I, so like I said, like One Punch Man was probably the most I got into an anime show, right? Yeah. That wasn't Pokemon. Uh, and I loved it. I, was, I watched it all in. Um, That's very good. Yeah, whatever it's. Um, Brando's the- still, still not on One Punch, eh? No, I have no. I'm, I have not watched One Punch Man, but I remember we watched those two episodes when you were over the one time, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is a great show. This is a good show. Oh, okay, okay. But I, I uh, thought you sort of bounced off. Yeah, yeah, I really liked it. Like, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. So, um, no, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, but I am the same thing where it's like, I could watch a lot more anime than I do. Hmm. I don't because I'm usually watching movies or whatever. It's, it's very just, easy to do. Oh, it's anime. I'm yeah. okay. I'm and it's, okay. It's tough to get like. Like where to even start? Yeah, and, and yeah there's and a lot like to that. it, right? But it's not. I don't look at it like that, right? Though I'm not like like even with Dragon Ball when you guys are trying to get me to watch Dragon Ball Z. The reason I was not watching it was because I remember from being a child trying to watch that show and hating how long it took them to get to things. That was why I didn't like it. So, but then you convinced me. Fair short version, blah, blah blah. Yeah, but yeah. it was it was You're ne- not wrong. <laughs> it was it was never about it being anime though. I never look at something and go, oh, that's anime. That's stupid. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna like it. I don't even like when it comes to like genres of movies and stuff and somebody's like oh that's a rom-com it's gonna be stupid i'm like no i'm not labeling it like that because there's some rom-coms that i love oh, i'm They're still great. bad about that yeah i'm still i'm i'm i'm, I'm bad on rom-coms yeah. it's shocking to hear but it, Andy, there was a time when i avidly just hated metal gear there's a time when oh, i wow avidly, mm-hmm. i've 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 learned, it, it, it turns out if you try things, a lot of things are really awesome. Yeah, yeah. A lot I of just, things are so good. In, in every genre. Yeah. I, I, I do my best just not, not to hate something just for the sake of hating yeah. it because I think I won't like it or because it's a, a part of a genre. Or, you know, the thing I hate too is like if it, people get super upset because something's super popular so they don't want to get into it then for That's some reason. That's a big fucking stick apart with I hate yeah. people like that. Yeah, like I'm like, People like that bug the shit out of them, especially because Star Wars, there's a lot of it right now. Yeah, like who cares? Like, it's like Marvel and stuff too, right? Like, well, it's just every, it's stupid, everybody's watching it, they're simple movies. Like, yeah, they're we'll not enjoying it together. Who cares, right? Yeah, well that's the thing, right? Yeah, there's more people to talk to about it then and yeah, I just, I, I just, you know what? If it's good content, it's good. Hell yeah, that's the way I look at it. I bring it up because uh, that game that we all talked a little bit of shit about last week, something Volcano High. Yeah. Oh yeah, dinosaur would... whatever game. Goodbye the, Volcano High. Goodbye Volcano High. Yeah. The more I think about it, the more I think I'm probably actually way into that game in a way that like there I was mean, a time. It's of... like what you said. It's like that game. Like there's just from what we saw. There's yeah. just no way to know. That could be the shittiest story or totally. the best story yeah. ever told. But you, you can't judge it at face value. It might be great, right? There's a time, and, and and maybe it's just a response to like the negativity around Last of Us and just the way the world is so fucked right now. Like there was a time not very long ago when I looked at it and be like, this is this is. I would have just said this is a shitty game. I would have been like, this is not for me. <laughs> just at face like, value. This, yeah. this is fucking shitty. People are like this are stupid. Fuck this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but here we are now in 2020, and I I think. Because we got some note swaps going he on. He just, here. Brando keeps like drawing on the paper and then giving it to me. He, he drew a cowboy riding a skateboard with a sword, yeah. and then now he drew a bat that says, I'm a bat, you oh, fuck. That's dope. Can you draw, can you, can you draw me Bowser on a surfboard, uh, smoking a, a joint? I'm trying to remember how it all goes. He's got sunglasses. Bowser on a surfboard, sunglasses, smoking a joint, and I believe there's a giant weed leaf behind it all. Okay. <laughs> this is my tattoo that I'm going to get one day. Well, and make that a flag, too. That sounds like a good flag. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. If, we, if we also put that on a flag, that'd yeah. be real dope. Hang that in your house. Yeah. It'll be good. Background uh, on streams. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, that's our thoughts on anime and... Yeah. Crash yeah, Team Racing. We're going to try Crash Team so, Racing. So we got a lot of Diddy Kong Racing hate in our internal Slack here. We, yeah, I don't like Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, I think it's a bad <laughs> video game. I like the DS remake. I thought, going back to the N64, yes, doesn't play very well. I honestly don't remember yeah. the quality of the game, but just chose the opposing side because we need two sides to every battle. Okay, like, yeah. <laughs> no, we need people defending it, yeah. I no, think it's the, good. Right yeah, side. I loved it as a kid. It's got Conquer in it. And I had a lot of nostalgia with the two, which I explained to... It's got that turtle. Everybody in the Slack, where when I was in the hospital back when, yeah, you really laid it on thick, and yeah, I laid it on like, thick, and Warren got mad at me because he's like, "Okay, you can't guilt us." But I just had a lot of connection with it because I was like playing it when I was in the hospital, and I was playing it with my mom and stuff. Yeah. And I remember I got an N sixty four after coming out of the hospital because I fell in love with Mario, and I fell in love with Mario Kart and that game, and she got an N sixty four for me, so. Man, so it has a spe- real special place in my heart. So lived the lived the pandemic before the pandemic, the last pandemic. Yes, got hit with it hard. Fucked. So and I the thing was I was too in the hospital. Um, 
I was, uh, we had a huge discussion about it, but I'm 100% sure I had H1N1, and, like, there's a whole bunch of other issues, but yeah. anyways, but I was, um, you know, I was very contagious, so I got the cabinet with the consoles, I had two of them, I had a, I had a NES, and then I had the, um, I had the N64, and I just got them. Like they would, they just left them in the room because I was couldn't contagious. Bring them so, yeah, so they couldn't infected. give it to any other kids because I'd get them infected. That's so. dope. That's yeah. fucked. Yeah, that's dope. I got. I don't know why they gave me two, but I mean, I looked terrible, so I could see how they would have yeah. felt bad for me. But <laughs> he might not so, make yeah. it. Let's yeah. give him the second, the second console. one. Yeah. So Crash Bandicoot, though, I wanted to get that game. Which I one? can't why, know why we didn't get it. The remake, the Crash Team Racing. Oh, I yeah. don't know. I think like I think it's on. Is it on Xbox? It's on something. I thought it was on Switch. I think you're right. And I wanted to get it. And I think even it was you or Brando or one other person. And I know Warren didn't want to get it because it wasn't Mario Kart and we only play Mario Kart. But um, I, I, wanted, I really wanted to get that game. I was like, that game looks sharp. It looks fun. Um, and yeah, It is on Xbox. Yeah, I was, uh, I was into getting it. And then I don't know what happened with it. We kind of just fell off. So Yeah, Warren, Warren poo-pooed us. I, um, As he so often does. He's a good man. Um, yeah, it's like, I yeah, I mean... I played Sonic Team Racer. That game was dope. Yeah. Yeah. It was mean, awesome. You mean uh, t- Team Racing or Sonic Racing All Stars Transformed? All, All Stars, yeah. All yeah. Stars Transformed is. I played that at E3 uh, 2011, maybe 2012. Uh, and was like l- legitimately shocked yeah, at how it. incredible of a racing game. I that can't is. even remember why I got it. I remember it was it was on my Wii U, and I think it was on sale one day. And I was like, ah, fuck! I think I was drunk, right? Just buy it, whatever. And I played a shockingly large yeah. amount of that game. It's a really like, good game. Yeah, like it was a lot of fun. That's the one where you are like on a team, but all racing separately. That's team. That's Sonic. Oh, this is a different that's one. That's the yeah, follow-up. I don't, I don't even yeah. know the full oh, okay. name of that one. Yeah, this, yes. the first one is the one I was playing. So All Stars Racing Transform. Yeah. you transform between car. Hover Hovercraft plane throughout the map. You'll like you'll hit a part where like whoa! Now everybody's a hovercraft. Everybody's on yeah. water. Kind of like, kinda kinda like you know Mario Kart when you go yeah. underwater or whatever. Or, but except or more epic. Diddy Kong Racing. You could choose your vehicle out of the gate. Right. Yeah. Which is a part of the reason I thought it was so cool. And too. planes flew faster. Yeah. And hovercrafts flew the fast, fastest. So if you were a hovercraft. You just won every race. Yeah. I was a big hovercraft guy. Loved hovercraft. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, like I, it's a shame that games like that kind of get overshadowed by Mario Kart. Like Mario Kart is the best of those games, but. Like, the Sonic game's great. Like, C-tier, has, C-Tier has, like, a really good single-player thing going on. There's, like, a good overworld where you're getting different currencies for different challenges. and Well, that's what I liked about Diddy and, Kong Racing was that whole yeah. overworld idea, right? Like, I was like, this is there's a story to this. This is kind of cool. Like, that go, big pig ra- chases you. Yeah, I gotta go Diddy race Kong the pig. Racing. Oh, my goodness. Even after playing the remake of that game, still took me so long to beat that guy. Like, yeah. and you have to be in the car, too. And as soon as you can drive the hovercraft, I'm never picking the car anymore, so I have no experience using it. And then I gotta race the final boss in the damn car. <sighs> it's good. <sighs> passionate. Who's passionate about my racing, racing There, did I, did, I fit the, yes. did I fit my new role you as sh- racing guy? New role. Yes. You've <laughs> always been. <laughs> cart, uh, cart racer editor. Yeah, so there we go. I, I proved myself. We not, were, we were a little bit games either. There, Real life cart racing events as well. So I'm going to go get Crash Team Racing. I'm going to buy that game. Do it, I'm and then turn us all into it. Yeah. Uh, Cyberpunk's been pushed back to November 19. I'm down with that. Yeah. Always delay games to make them better. Yeah. Ten times out of ten. Everything's been pushed back. I guess they're doing a multiplayer thing, which is supposed to be uh, free for people who own it, but separate. Don't give a fuck about that. Next year, also pushed back. The only reason I give a fuck about it is... Uh, doing all this Red Dead RP stuff, uh, any, any giant interconnected open world with a bunch of systems and NPCs and things that, that work together, you could probably do some pretty dope role-playing in. You build a system around. You're all over that now. You just want to see every game yeah. that could possibly have role playing. Uh, it's one of those things that once you do for the first. Oh, here we go. All right, Bowser <laughs> on a surfboard. He's got. Ah, oh, doesn't have the sunglasses. Dis- oh, dis- disappointing. I knew there was something I would forget. Smoking a joint on a flag on a on what might be a Canadian flag. With, it's got the uh, Canadian borders. Yeah, yeah with, with, the, this could be a weed leaf, or we could also color it as a red maple leaf. This could go. This could go it either could way. Be. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going it's good. for. Dope, dope drawing. I feel very, like with the, with the well sunglasses, done. you couldn't tell that he was already high. So. Ah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Artistic that's license. That is, yeah, I had to make that call. <laughs> uh, and then our shop story this week, our last story <laughs> that, that we saved, <laughs> the big one. Billy Mitchell, the the King of Kong. Oh shit! The man I, I who I drew on my notes. <laughs> uh, I believe this was 2018. Had his scores revoked by Twin Galaxies and the Guinness Book of World Records when it was suspected he might have used a Mame cabinet to put his scores on, not a real arcade board, but an emulator. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Some new evidence coming to life. Well, Brando, what is your story? Why don't you, uh, why don't you field this one? Fired yes. up. Yes. I, and this, this story that I pulled from The Verge. Where do you uh, even start? <laughs> ends, it ends on a banger. So uh, uh, so they, the, the Guinness World, uh, the Guinness Book of World Records. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is currently owned by the same folks who own Ripley's Believe It or Not to just take this whole fucking thing with a giant grain of salt. Yeah, I don't actually know anything about Ripley's Believe It or Not anymore. I remember I watched it like three times when I was a yeah, kid, was and that was it. I love the books. Show. They had good yeah. books, didn't they? Yeah. They had the books, yeah. I yeah. love looking through those books. So the two records in question, uh, perfect score on Pac-Man. First man to ever get the perfect score on Pac-Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got that one back, and the first person to ever reach a million points on Donkey Kong. Yes. He got that one back. Uh, Twin Galaxies uh, is, uh, is, uh, does their own audits and awards for this mm-hmm. stuff. They are, they are sticking to their guns. Yes, it was very shady. All, all the, evidence, the evidence came to light that these scores might be fake. Uh, and there was no evidence that anybody saw to the contrary. And mm-hmm. everyone went, yeah, these scores are probably fake. Because it was even Billy Mitchell himself was like, You'll see, I got the evidence, you're going to see the evidence. I can't tell what the evidence is, but trust me, once the evidence hits, oh, oh. <laughs> so here's what we got from Guinness World Records editor Craig Glenday. Said in a video release Thursday, quote, existing evidence and newly sourced eyewitness testimony, plus some new expert gameplay analysis and hardware verification was reviewed before revising the decision. Quote, in the end, we found that there just wasn't sufficient evidence to support the disqualification across the board. What? That's fuck. This None isn't of this innocent stuff until is new. proven guilty. This yeah. isn't a murder case. This is this is not like, well, we have to assume he set the world record until we're sure he didn't. It's a fucking world record. Did you set it or did you not, sir? And uh, in a layer on top, he ha- Mitchell has an ongoing lawsuit with Twin Galaxies. Yes. Uh, for libel. Yes. Uh, and has also threatened to sue Guinness. Yes. So maybe maybe that's it. Maybe Guinness is like, you know what's cheaper than a lawsuit? Let's fucking give him get, put his name in the book. Yeah, so. there's been a uh you do not look very I'm not gonna recount any any source for you here. Uh you can type Guinness scam into Google and you can find many Many, 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 many world records that are literally just bought out of pocket. You can also find a lot of world records held by dictators who have done incredibly terrible things, but they have sizable contributions to the Guinness Foundation. So, I mean, you know, just you do your own research. You don't have to do very much. Guinness World Records is completely fucked, top to fucking bottom. Now, so, let's, let's bring her home real quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. The organization's current owner, uh, this is Twin Galaxies. Yes. Current owner. And CEO, Jace Hall. Jace. He's fighting the good fight. Yeah. Jace. Uh, <laughs> only responded to a request for comment with the, quote, but that's none of my business, unquote, Kermit the Frog meme. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. Hit him with the fucking <laughs> Kermit the Frog, none of my business meme. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, it, so whatever the new evidence is, they, they, they can't or won't show us yes. in, in a way that, like... Those are very broad strokes that they said, like, well, it's, it's new, new uh, expert gameplay analysis. Yeah, har- hardware verification. Yeah, like, who? Who did this? Yeah, what do you... From this video, new... It's very, very shady. Make uh, King of Kong 2. Make King of Kong 2. It's very, very shady, and it is not a big stretch of the belief to... Just the, the, the new evidence. Money. The new evidence was a fucking the bag with a dollar sign on it. The new evidence mm-hmm. was like, "Hey, we're gonna drop this lawsuit." Yeah, I got hot sauce to sell. Yeah. Do you do you really want this on your on your plate, or do you just want to give you my records back? Because uh, if there was hard evidence against it, if they could prove without a shadow of a doubt, they would. Show, Billy Mitchell would be like, "Here, see, fuckers, look, I did it. Fuck you guys. Yeah, I really did it." But it's not that. It's this like smarmy, like, "Well, I have the evidence. I can't show you." But you just got to trust me. I have it. I don't, I'm turning to Matthew McConaughey here. For yeah, some I was going to say, I like where your voice is going. I don't, so. I don't know. We're going to take our shirts off, and, but I can't show you the evidence. But uh, Get my Lincoln. The evidence yes. is in my Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I drive one. Uh, it's a dead body in the back. Fuck, I don't buy. I don't buy. I don't think the free thinking. No. Not to turn this like some no, radical. Not. <laughs> yeah. pod, the free thinking listeners. Um, Andy, you should watch King of Kong. If you yeah, I got I got an hour it and a half on your hands. Hmm. Apparently, it's, it's, it, about, uh, it's a documentary about him setting the record. Yeah, and it's on very, very, very well made. Is it on? I don't think uh, it's on that streaming Netflix. service. I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I'm gonna go find it tonight as well. On top of the gentleman here at some point. I feel like I tried watching it once. Yeah, I've never have. even. Yeah, I just never got through it. 
Taylor Stapp. Yeah, uh, he's it's it's just he's such an unlikable dude, mm-hmm. and like I don't know, fuck you, Billy Mitchell. I, we Sue me for that. libel if you want to try. I, I can say fuck you. That's not you can't not hold libel. me to libel for that. Yeah. Uh, Billy Mitchell. You said he seems like an unlikable dude. You, which is also fine. That's right. Also yeah. unlikable as, as your is, lawyer. Yes, thank you, mm-hmm. uh, Billy Mitchell. You seem. Like, you did not legitimately set those scores. If you had the evidence to show, show us the evidence. Show us the tapes. Show us the tapes. All right, that's enough. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, counsel. <laughs> My client has yeah. nothing further to say. That's right. <laughs> uh, it's fucked. It's totally fucked. And, like, nobody's fooled, right? No. Nobody's fooled. He seems like an unlikable guy. Yeah. Also, Guinness World Records is a hilarious joke. Yeah. And has been for, you know, so many years. So it's not There's about the records. Like, literally a form you sign up to, that is like, uh, if you'd like to be in the book for anything, it's uh, $20,000. Yeah, I guarantee it. Yeah. I, there is... Just pay us $20,000. What's maybe, your record? Maybe not quite <laughs> as public as that, but I guarantee that, yeah, for a sizable enough donation, yeah. like, yeah, we can find a record that doesn't cool. exist. Totally. You just find like, a, like, a, like an off branch or something that, yeah. that someone way more, like, well... He did the 100-meter dash faster wearing blue shorts. Yep. Fast Put him in. Yeah. Fast, fast 100-meter dash in blue shorts. Yeah. Done. Yeah. There was, I remember, yeah, there, I, when I was working at uh, Virgin Radio in Edmonton, I got to kind of see all that firsthand because um, one of the guys working there, Robbie, did the, uh, at, at uh, K-Days, he did the riding in the Ferris wheel for the longest amount of time. Mm-hmm. Did, he, did he take the record? He did, yeah. Um, I think it was 35 hours or something like oh. that. So I, uh, I could do 50. Easy. I think that it's actually a lot more now. Like I think after he did it, I think like two days later, yeah. somebody in California like yeah. did it. So Once something yeah. goes the public, one, then yeah. everyone's yeah. just like, oh, it's easy, it's easy. On it. I mean, <laughs> also too, like he, you know, it, like the Guinness guy came like on the last day and was like there for the last hour oh, or something like that. So like yeah. you pay a bunch of money. Like he did it. We yeah. all like, you know, they broadcasted the whole thing. So it was clear they did it. But like they don't, you know. Like, they just come there, they're like, they get the paycheck. I had to take a video of him getting off the Ferris wheel that had a time stamp on. Or I had to t- have a video with the time stamp of him getting off, a video with the time stamp of him uh, totally on and then off. And the, yeah, like, no, I wouldn't Airtight. be able to fake that. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, the Guinness guy just like showed up, collected his check, and was like, yeah, okay, you got yeah, it. Just like, hey, you with the cotton candy. Yeah. Was he on there the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I got a record here. Is this guy? Yeah. Uh, he just they, passes they, it to somebody. <laughs> they give him the record, and then they take the money. Like, it's expensive to get him yeah. to come out. And like, I remember, I can't, it was, it was rather me just kind of sitting in on the conversation, but somebody was talking to him about his job, and he's just like, I literally just go all over North America and just like show up to these places that these people are doing these records and then take the check. And then fucking boogie yeah. off. Like we should, it's, we should buy a record. We could do it. We could best honestly, podcast. Uh, <laughs> well, we already maybe. hold that. We don't need <laughs> Guinness right. to tell us. We could probably, if if most time podcasting one consecutive podcast is is not done, we could probably sit down here for forty hours or whatever. We sure. could we could set it. It would be beat. Like yeah. we probably couldn't hold it. But yeah. setting but it, setting a one record of those volumes, is easy. And totally. then we'd buy that volume. Yeah. And no, I wouldn't buy. I don't support that company. But yeah, they don't put you in unless steal, it's a significant enough record too. Like it has yeah, to and also, volume. not every record goes in the book. Yeah, it has to be something like interesting, right? Which is extra fucked if you're paying for a record that is just. Not recorded anywhere other than like the mines, the computers at Guinness HQ. Like you can't look through the there's book. Probably, like, there's probably like a website, like a law, yeah. like a search law yeah. where you can. It's get, get but it's just then. it's just all for that name. Like they developed the brand that people want, and that's to be exactly what it is. Yeah, like you know, it's going out and sitting on the Ferris wheel for 35 hours and just doing that record isn't enough. You got to pay the Guinness guy, yep. you know, hundreds of dollars to come out here and give you the plaque and take a photo and then have him dick off and fly straight to California because somebody there is doing it now because yeah. I heard about somebody's it. Somebody's already on their Ferris wheel. Someone, yeah. someone already beat it. Yeah, somebody's already um, in the process of doing more. Was the thing going around? Yeah, so he just wrote it. So like, when he got to the bottom, could he like people could like toss him supplies? Um, yeah, I think a fresh battery for yeah. Your fucking so they BS. would he, he, they would ju- they were still putting people on the ride yeah, and sure. like you know, but he just had his own little like he was like he had a bunch of shit in it and like you could tell oh, yeah. he's like setting up a home in there and stuff. It was actually pretty funny. Um, but Did yeah, everyone so, boo him when he came to the bottom because would, he was slowing time. down the line. No, 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 no. Get no, off the road! No one cares about your shitty record! I think, actually, he had... Um, people would go in and sit with him. So, he would... Okay, uh, yeah. this whole thing seems totally... Quite, the sanctity of this record, yeah. I'm calling it to question right now. They could have swapped a double in and out. People are getting on, he swapped Robbie out for a different... I, I, as, as somebody who knows Robbie very well, not a crafty yeah. enough person to ever pull that off. So, yeah, he's not... No, he He probably could have gone for another 35, too. Yeah. Robbie but, seems like he don't give a fuck. Like, oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The only thing is um, that I think would be 
be a roadblock for doing something like that is the bathroom breaks because you yeah. were only allotted they, uh, like every so often you were allowed to leave yeah, they, go to the bathroom and go right back onto the Ferris wheel for yeah. consecutive records you have to take a break 10 out 10 minutes of every hour yeah, at least that's what it used to be there's it's probably so like that's even a lot then. that's a long time so that's even way more even of like, a break than i take when i play video games. totally it's like <laughs> i'm gonna game for 100 hours or whatever my record is like i'm i still get my 10 minute break every so often and like if it's over a day they a lot of times you go and sleep you you sleep between there because they can't if you kill yourself while setting a guinness world record that would be really bad for them mm-hmm. so there's a lot of like bullshit uh, caveats and things. He wasn't able to sleep for this. So I remember that yeah, he had, had to go. Had to be awake. He had to go the full time. He had to be awake. Yeah. We get th- all right. New record. Most time asleep on a Ferris wheel. Podcast at talkingreckless.com. <laughs> email <laughs> address. So just breeze through that with no cell there. Uh, where you can write an email. Electronic games to the show. Uh, we no longer have a subreddit. You can just drop them all on our Discord. Everything goes on the Discord now. Whether you have text questions, uh, you can still email to those if you want. Podcast, talkingrex.com. Fuck the subreddit. Fuck the subreddit. I always forget to post the thread. Fuck the subreddit. Uh, there's a post up there now that'll point you to the Discord. Just drop any subreddit questions or whatever in the Discord. You can also also put voicemails in that same channel. We haven't figured it. It's all working now. I didn't mm-hmm. set it up, so I have a lot of faith. That I love how you went working. for like months of telling people, well, oh, it's kind of fucky, but get in there, figure it out. I'm sure months. you'll get One it. One of them might just pawns, he says. Yeah. Like, it wasn't like it wasn't years. Oh, okay. for, for me, yeah, for me, it's been months, but yeah. um, that's funny that it was just like something you didn't do. Yeah. <laughs> but I tried. I just that one, did it wrong. That one got through. Yeah, and, and like a Smith few one. would trickle through, so I'm like, oh, it must be working. Because it's something through. Was an email. Uh, we, we got a few Will Smith ones in the old... The uh, voice, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got no emails this week. No emails, no voicemails, but uh, drop them on the old uh, Discord. You just have to talkandreckless.com. Click the old Discord link there um, and find that. Uh, we do a D&D podcast called Rolling Reckless. We'd love to have you come and join us for that. Uh, June the 28th, we are planning on starting... Uh, the second half of season one. We're on mid-season break right now. <gasps> it's the perfect time to get caught up, or maybe you haven't been listening. It's the perfect time to jump in because we're going to do not a clean break, but you know, like a mid-season break. Perfect time. Perfect time to get in there, even if uh, you maybe missed the first 120 <laughs> hours of D and D we played. <laughs> Nice. Uh, what else do we do? Super Saiyan Pod. Super Saiyan. New episode coming too. Super Saiyan Pod. Super Saiyan Super. Not quite. Worksheet. Super. <laughs> Super Saiyan Pod, Super Saiyan Super. Right. Super. Super, Super Saiyan Pod, Super Saiyan Super. That's right. Yeah. Yes. It is Your turn, sh- Brando. Super, Super Saiyan Pod, Super Saiyan Super. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> the show is called Super Saiyan Pod, Super Saiyan. Yeah. And we're is, not changing it. We're not changing it. We are now talking about Super. So I've got a Super on the end, making it Super Saiyan Pod, Super Saiyan Super. It's also a Super show, so we put a Super on the beginning for Super, yeah. Super Saiyan Pod, Super Saiyan Super. Super Nintendo super. edition of the show. <laughs> uh, come on, you guys, for that. We're uh, maybe going to get the record this week is the plan. Uh, the first three episodes? Three episodes, right? We did one, two, three? Three we episodes. Four. Four? Did we do four? What? Why how are we many, talking about? How many Super Saiyan Pod Super Saiyans have we done? Oh, I thought you were, done four. I thought yeah. you were saying we were going to do a podcast about the first three episodes. No, I was no, like, no. holy crap. Probably this like, is going to go on for years. No, <laughs> probably the first like 30 to 35 so episodes the, or whatever. The, the Battle of the Gods thing yeah. uh, is like I think eighteen or something. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be that'll be good. What's start. the one after? We should probably do the first two. A eh? Battle of Gods and Return of F. Yeah, Return of F is short. Yeah, so we should probably we 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 can we make this plan live on the air right now. Let's yeah. plan for Battle of Gods and, okay. and Return of F for our first two arcs. We'll talk about okay. solid meeting. Hell yes. Now we don't have to talk about it in the Slack. Got her done that. Done. Oh, yes. uh, come and join us for that. The plan. I don't, I don't know if that'll be live, but uh, uh, should be up this week, maybe next week for you. Uh, and come and join us on the live stream. Talking Reckless. Nope. Twitch.tv slash Talking Reckless. Uh, we got a lot of things. It's hard to keep straight sometimes. Yeah, no, no, that totally makes sense. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, other than thank you very much, gentlemen. It's so good to be back in the studio. I cannot. I just describe. feel better about this show oh my than God. I have about a show in a very long time. Thank you so much to you as well. If you've been listening and suffering, I know the audio quality has been all over the fucking place for for everything. Uh, thank you very much. If you've been listening. Uh, and, and suffering through. Thanks for sticking with us. I know times are tough. And I know a lot of people's schedules and, and routines are broken, too. So a lot of podcast listening hey, kind of drops out. Sorry to cut you off there, Eads, on your heartfelt moment. Uh, so I was thinking when you had mentioned um, that you should just run your favorite podcast in the background, even if the audio is really bad because yeah. you still want to support them. Yeah. You know who else you can do that for? Musicians. A word? 
But like I saw that uh, somebody had posted and said, "Hey, if you want to support musicians right now who aren't out playing gigs and uh, making cash, um, put your Spotify yeah. on mute at night and just run their albums, and then have it on the charger, so it's fine." That seems very legal. Yeah, but uh, but I'm I'm how's it legal? How's it legal? There's nothing legal about that. I mean, if people like if everybody started doing it, I'm sure they would figure out a way to counter yeah. it. But but they every every time an artist song gets played, they get some some percent of royalties. They probably get. A quarter of a penny or something. And especially since nobody's buying music anymore yeah. and the artists can't go play, their, you know, income is basically zero at the moment. So, you know, yeah, for the big tough, guys that, you know, don't go playing so yeah. Yeezy's, naked. Yeezy's fine. He doesn't need you to fucking... Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be cool. Drake's gonna be good. Um, but, you know, if you got some sort of indie that you really like, like, just, yeah, throw their tunes on. Just yeah, let them run. Yeah. Just do it for us. Do it for us. Yeah, do I mean, also do, it, also do, yeah, do it for this podcast. Too, send right? me money. <laughs> if you want to send me some money, uh, <laughs> patreon.com slash talking reckless. <laughs> patreon.com. What about slash my Patreon? <laughs> talking reckless podcast. Uh, supports the show. Supports all these mics that we're talking into, these lights, all this shit. If you're watching down here, you know, it's pretty budget. We could use a few more dollars, honestly, of mm. work in the studio. Uh, but a lot of good stuff for you over on the Patreon as well. Uh, Andrew Captain, thank you so much for being here, my friend. You make yeah. a hell of a long drive to uh, make the show happen. Thank yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to start sleeping here until the next podcast rolls around. So. Kev's, Kev's not back till whenever. He's fucking, he'll probably just crash here for a few weeks or I'll whatever. Sit for him. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Lynch, yes. thank you very much for being out there on the streets, bringing us the, the news that matters. Yes, yes. Uh, the pedophile pizza stories. That's right. That's... <laughs> We probably I probably shouldn't call this episode "Pedophile Pizza Stories." Hey, mm. I'm always I'm always listening for a title as we're doing them. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. What are we? Maybe just pedophile stories. <laughs> what? <laughs> Got it. Uh, at the human home. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back here next week uh, for the next. Talking Reckless video game podcast uh, at some point in here as well for Rolling Reckless. Go look that up as well. Uh, thank you very much. Stay safe if you can. Stay sane. And we'll see you here on the next episode of the Talking Reckless podcast. See you then.